Good evening. I'd like to call this uh, June 11th meeting um, of the Northfield Township Board to order. Uh, please stand for the invocation and the pledge. As humble guests of your creation, dear God, may we with gratitude ask for thy love, wisdom, and guidance, not only to this meeting this evening, but also to our daily lives. Amen. Please call the roll, Clerk Manley. Zelenak. Present. Docket. Present. Here. Otto. Here. Check. Here. Manley. Here. Shockley. Here. All here. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'd like to make a motion to adopt the balance of the agenda as distributed. Support. Motion by Chockley, support by Chick. Any discussion on this? Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. That passes 7 0. Uh, now we have an opportunity for call to the public, and anybody, any member of the public may address the board this evening. Um, please keep your comments to three minutes, state your name and your address, and feel free to share with us uh, whatever you have. Turn on the microphone and keep it right to your mouth so that even people on TV can hear. I know it's his dime, but. I hear a little too fast when I wanted to pull the, the wastewater treatment plant and the supervisor's report. Okay, well, let's, let's allow our uh, member of the public to, to speak first, and then we'll see what we can do. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Excuse me, sir. Uh, David Gordon, Helena Road. <clears throat> Good evening. Uh -huh. uh, by the slimmest of margins at a meeting, either the last one or the one before, on a vote of four to three, this board approved $200,000 for engineering designs on a $5 million sewage holding tank. As you know, the designs are only good for about 18 months and then they're obsolete. So unless this board quickly approves a $5 million holding tank, the $200,000 will have been wasted. By law, the board will need to alert the public about the borrowing for the tank. So I would suggest you contact them now before spending the $200,000. What if hundreds of people show up to protest this tax? Will you ignore them? Will it change even one vote? Because if it does, then the motion will not move forward. I suggest that the board conduct a legitimate professional survey regarding sewer expansion and the associated costs, because it seems prudent to spend the money for that before you spend millions for something that the residents might not even want. Speaking of money, let's talk about the capital improvement plan, which is on the agenda for tonight. Sewers. Sewers, again, $7.1 million. That's seven times as much as roads, 15 times as much as devoted to North Village, 17 times more than the police department, 31 times more than the park development, 35 times more than the community center, and based on what's been spent for land preservation in the last couple of years, it's 500 times more than land preservation. So needless to say, I don't understand this logic of this because sewers was not really a, a campaign subject. I don't understand the big need for sewer expansion because according to the MDEQ, we could have an additional thousand new families move into this community right now before you need to expand the plant. So I kind of like an explanation for that, but my problem is that now I read the agenda and it says, quote, call to the public is not intended to be an opportunity for dialogue or questions and answers. Well, when is that opportunity to get answers to questions? When will the board publicly make itself available to answer these questions for the residents? <coughs> I think it's time to get that started. So there's 30 seconds left of my three minutes, so I would like to ask this question. Where's the evidence that $7 million for sewers is gonna pay dividends to this community or revitalize downtown? Okay. I 
yes, there's not going to be an answer to that. I'm giving you my time to answer it. Uh-huh. Well, I'm all ears. Thank you. Thank you for uh, sharing your thoughts with us. Um, we should uh, get those answers for you and offline. That would be great. And then share it with the public too. So I appreciate that. Um, anyone else like to come up tonight to s- share anything uh, for call to the public? OK. Thank you very much. Uh, board member response to call to the public. Does anyone have any input? Okay, no one. Uh, Township manager report. Go ahead, Mr. Ains. Oh, yes, and we're going to pull a couple things for you. We'll have to make a motion for that, I guess. Which ones are we pulling? Uh, The uh, wastewater. Wastewater treatment and the supervisor's report. And the supervisor's report. We can talk about the supervisor's report at that time, okay? Okay. Can we we pull the um, police report? Uh, police report as well. Okay. And we'll ha- have to amend the agenda. <coughs> I, I missed it too. Okay. Moving too quickly. All right. Um, so, township manager report. Go ahead, Mr. Means. First off, the board had asked that we set up a citizen advisory committee to look at the road issue. And since this year is already going to be committed for the budget, uh, the intent would be to start the committee in July and work towards what might be needed for the coming year. Uh, The board could appoint uh, members of the board, but it'd probably be best if it was uh, no more than three as with your other committee. But I was going to go ahead and advertise that it is available, that we are looking for people that would give advice or input. It'd be similar to what some of the other townships have done when they've looked at the overall issue and they've appointed a citizen study committee. And I have had some citizens approach already about wanting to serve. So we will go ahead and advertise if no objections from the board. And then if you know of anybody that you think would be good on the committee, if you'd let me know. Second, the uh, North Village Development Committee has started with the uh, process. We've as the board appointed three members of your board, two mem- three members of the DDA, uh, Mr. Lippins and myself, and then Mr. Burns when it gets to be legal issues. And so we have started that process. We hope to be moving ahead quickly on that and be back to the board uh, within the next month at the latest uh, to go with a recommendation. But we will be setting up meetings on that. The uh, report on the planning, zoning, and building, um, I was relying on uh, some information to answer some of your questions that I needed the controller to help me with, and I told her the priority was the budget and then to do the work I needed on that. So she said she would definitely get it to me shortly, and then my intent is to get that report to you by the next board meeting. So thank you. Thank you. Um, we have questions, um, Mr. Dockett. Oh, I see on here about mid-page township manager performance review. Uh, you've changed your mind. You were going to have an open meeting, and now I see you're asking for closed session. Uh, you're pressured in the. <laughs> or did somebody think that it was a bad idea or you did it on your own? Or, uh, did, did you change your mind, in fact? Or no, I uh, intended to go with an open session, but I also told the board if it seemed like most of you did not want it to be an open session that I would then go ahead and ask for it to be closed. And the input I got back was that the board's preference would be to have it be a closed session. Yeah, nobody asked me anything, but I would have had an open session, but so you're going to do a closed session? Yes. Okay. Uh, lease of the farmland, what did we find out on that? Well, on that 
it's still a question on it, defining exactly what piece of property is that's being leased. Well, I mean, they've been leasing it for years, you know, come on. <laughs> what, what's, what's so different this year than it has been for the last 10 years? Maybe the attorney's got some idea, but there's nothing. The property didn't change any. No, but once you said you wanted the attorney to do something I didn't, it, I didn't. But uh, I meant the board. Okay. Then, uh, then that... Uh, well, is he busy and certain. he can't do it, or what, what happened there? Uh, <clears throat> the lease is prepared, the township has it. The problem is the uh, description of the property to be farmed has not been generated because the description the township has has also the fire hall in it and the cell phone tower. So the cell phone tower and the fire hall have to be deleted from the description so we don't lease out the fire hall and the cell tower. And um, so there's no particular description for just the property to be farmed that's been generated yet. Well, I, w I wonder if, it, if the board knew that this was gonna happen. <laughs> Is, is this, what, what do we get, like a hundred bucks from the guy? 50, it's sure as hell not gonna cover the, the, the lawyer fees. It's, uh, I mean, I, I don't know, uh, why, uh, why would we do something to ourselves, shoot ourselves in the foot? You know, <laughs> I, I think this board should reconsider and say, go ahead, and we don't need the lawyer, and go ahead and lease it. I mean, or, or charge the guy, you know, 500 or 1,200 or, you know, and, and then it'll be worthless to him. So, I, it just, this kind of stuff bugs me when it costs more to let somebody farm it than, than you know, then we're going to re get in return. I don't know what the rest of the board thinks, but yep. I'd be interested in listening. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Um, Yes, my opinion is that we just let them plant it with, uh, in, instead of mowing it ourselves, just have them plant it with, with clover or whatever he would have done and not charge him at all. I mean, yes, there could potentially be liability issues, and we need to be cognizant of that, but it would save us from mowing. And, um, you know, I heard that he wanted well, to... Well, if the guy don't get this anyway. crop in pretty soon... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is he got well, his crop in? Clover it can go in it. I mean, is it in? Is he no, farming? Oh. Not that I know of. Well, I would, I would think we should let him go ahead. But. So, you know. Anyway, maybe we can get a plan B like that. It did get more complicated than it needed to get. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Who's going to pick up the Ms. bill? Elmer? Yeah, I... I, I we are, if we're not charging him anything... Or, the, the board's picking up the bill for the lawyer. What, what are you talking about? Oh, the farm, th the contract yeah. and everything? It's, re it's a retainer issue. I mean, yeah. he's on retainer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Retainer, 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 and then the retainer goes up. I mean, it, you can it only... It hasn't gone up for a long, long time, Mr. Duck. Well... Ms. Elnut, go be, ahead. Because a good horse will run to death, you don't ride him to death. So... We don't need to give them extra work if we don't have to. I agree. Go ahead, Ms. Zelnock. Yeah, I tend something. to agree on the property. Can we just make sure we're covered liability and let the person that's been doing it yeah. as long just let them do it? Yeah, he, he has insurance. Yeah. I mean, we can he just does. make sure we have, we're covered too in ours and just let them do it. So how do we make that happen? Um, give it to Mr. Ains. Mr. Ains, can and you Mr. make that happen? And Mr. Burns, make it happen. Just, I just think... Yeah, well, making them. just what? make sure we are covered from a, uh, an insurance perspective. I think you still need to have that contract in place showing that you're requesting insurance, but you can put zero on the amount. Mm -hmm. I'd just say, do we have insurance? Yeah. Is it covered? Yeah. He's I already just, given uh, us a copy the, of his insurance. Okay. The, the document's done, okay. and it requires insurance. Okay. The only issue is we don't have a description of what he's going to farm. Mm -hmm. and it, I, How do we get that? Well, we asked the assessor. He said, I'm not a surveyor. Nobody, nobody wants to do it. Good. I'm glad we won't get a bill so, for a survey, for Christ's so sake. We, so can we just put something in the contract that's just, you know. 
I'll end the uh, cell tower. We'll, we'll try to do it. We'll try to do it. Okay. Drawing Can we wrap ourselves? this up? I, I agree. <laughs> Let's use some common sense. Yeah. And then, as far as the open session, I agree, Mr. Dockett. I mean, there was emails that went back and forth. I certainly didn't express my opinion in the email, and obviously, Mr. Dockett didn't get it for the performance review. So. I'm, if the manager wants to or offered to have it in open session, I think it should be done in open session. So do I. Ms. Manley. Um, just I have one more. Oh, oh, one more. Done. Go ahead. I, sorry. sorry. You're done. sorry. So, um, Ms. Raines, how are you going to advertise for the advisory committee for the roads? We were going to do it through the uh, mailing. You had mentioned that part of it needed to be on the taxes. But we were going to put something in there. We were going to put it online. We were going to okay. do email. Okay. Um, and there's no real rush because we're looking at next budget year. Uh -huh. um, but I think we need to get it established this summer. Let them look at it in present conditions. And get familiar with the roadways now when the weather's good. Right. And then they'll be in a position to look at it when it's not so good. Right. I think the sooner the better. I mean, next year and roads will be here before we know it. Mm. Yeah. We're already in June, yeah. and we usually have the meeting in May, so it's... Yeah. Well, part of the reason I was waiting until July 1st was to see exactly what you were approving to be done this okay. year with the funds that you make available. Mm -hmm. And then the committee would start from that point on and go ahead. And so I have one more comment. Um, okay, go ahead. So you had indicated a gentleman had come in here about the roofing at the senior center, and mm -hmm. uh, there was some conversation that we need to have a better way to communicate to our business owners as well as our residents who are paying taxes that we are doing these improvements so that they have an opportunity or are aware of them and make a proposal because they do pay taxes. So. Could you comment on that, Mr. Ains? Well, the reference is to a local contractor who said that he was not allowed the opportunity to bid. And so the board had already had five parties submit bids, and you had awarded the bid, and the work was scheduled. And based on your instruction, I had signed the contract. So at that point, the attorney and I had discussed that it wasn't reasonable to do anything other than go ahead with it. Yeah. But in terms of what we might do in the future, uh, I had talked uh, a bit to some of you about uh, setting up some kind of, of uh, sign-in where different contractors could advise us that they had an interest in doing work for the township and not necessarily make it complicated where you had to send an email out to only roofing contractors right. or only concrete, but if they got on your master list and whenever you had projects to bid, you mm -hmm. could send an email out to those parties. Mm -hmm. If they weren't interested in that or didn't have that available, <laughs> um, if they didn't have it available, we could make some other provision for them. Well, I mean, I yeah. thank you for bringing it to, certainly I was in the office, and but I do think it's important that we implement something, a, you know, a procedure so that our residents who may have a business, our business people that are residents have an opportunity because um, they're members of our community and they are paying taxes and it would be nice to make sure they're aware of some of the improvements and it looks like we're going to be making quite a few going forward. So, And I still have his brochure yeah. on my chair in my office as sure. a reminder each day that I need to get that done. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you. And then, you. again, I'd just go back to the performance review. Is there, you know, do we need to make a motion to make it closed or do we need to make a motion to make it open? It's, it's, it's in two decision. weeks. It's his decision, not ours. Okay, so you changed your mind. Well, what I'm saying is that I had thought it might be nice to do something different. Some of the board has told me that I don't come up with enough new ideas. So this was one of my new ideas. Okay. And, uh, but it seemed like, you know, when, when I apply for jobs at different communities, the boards always wanted them to be in closed session. So as a convenience to the boards, you would automatically do it as a request to be in closed session. I'm fine either way. But I had the impression that the board, the response I got back, at least some people didn't respond, but the response I was getting back seemed to be... I will respond. I want you to do what you want to do. Right. Okay. 
That's so what cool. is, so what is it that you want to do? He's got two weeks to decide. Okay, <laughs> right? I think we need. Uh, why don't you have. let Why don't you let him answer? When she asks him a question, why would you answer it? So I just say, what, how would you like to handle it, Mr. Ames? Well, my rationale for doing an open session was that one, the board and the township gets criticized for too many closed sessions. Two, I don't have anything to hide. And three, you might say more than nice things to me in open than you might close. Could very well be. <laughs> Could be. I wouldn't bother. Yeah, I wouldn't count on Mr. Dockett, but the, the rest of you. Okay. okay. And so uh, the answer is close or open? Yeah, two weeks. He's got a week and a half to figure <laughs> okay. it out. Okay. Well, okay. you don't have two weeks I don't if it needs to be announced. It's, it's appropriate to pressure someone. Okay. No, uh, it's on our next agenda, so we all have right. some time Whatever. for our next agenda. That's it. Okay. That's all I Ms. Manley? I guess to give Mr. Ains my opinion, I mean, I didn't respond to the email because it's your call. My opinion shouldn't have any influence on that. It's like whatever you want to do, you should do. And I don't think it would change my evaluation, whether it's open or closed. And if we do it open or closed, I think we should still do it earlier. I agree. Well, we, we should still yeah. do what? Do it, do it at 6.15, yeah. not wait till 7 to start it. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Yeah. No, okay. it could be at 6.15 either way. That way it doesn't impede on your open session. Okay. But I'll consider it and let you know in the packet when it goes out on Thursday of next week. All Thank right. you. Or this, yeah, next week. Thank you. Anything else from the board? Okay. Um, I would just like to, correspondence and announcements, I would just like to thank Dana Forrester and James Tronco and Jack Sechrist for all the work that they put in on the events that went on this weekend. Um, we had a trunk of Palooza, uh, and we had a classic car show, and they were both well received by the community. And um, people are looking forward to doing the trunk of Palooza again That's in the fall. Close. So, um, so that was good, and I'm glad close. they helped. And uh, I know Barb Griffith contributed, and um, Max Marina. So the, a lot of people participated in this and it was it was a successful event both of them so thank you out there um, and was it wasn't it a boat show instead of a car show classic boat show did i say car yes okay classic boat show <laughs> yeah yeah there were some the boat there were some boats on land and, uh, yeah. so anyway it was good all right uh approval of minutes oh you Smith's? have something go yeah. ahead um there's still a few uh, boxes available at the uh, community garden, and you may have noticed the four picnic tables at the park, the wooden picnic tables. Yes. Uh, June 29th is Whitmore Lake Races. I understand that uh, we could still sign up for that. Uh, I suspect that uh, Trustee Otto may have more information on that. If you want to add to that, no? No, I'm not, not on that committee. Okay. <laughs> anyway, June 29th is Whitmore Lake Races. You, uh, I believe it begins at the middle school. If you want to sign up in person, arrive early. It's in the morning or sign up online. Um, I realize there's supposed to be two seats coming uh, available for the Parks and Rec, uh, both Tim Seville's seat and Caro Short. Um, Parks and Rec meeting is June 20th, if you're interested. Uh, come on out to the June 20th meeting. It's here at the Township Building at 7 o'clock. And um, that, I think, is about it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Next item um, is the minutes. Uh, okay. Um, anybody want to take a shot at these? Go ahead, um, Ms. Bellager. I got a simple one. Okay. Right at the beginning. Docket's name it looks to be Ms. Spelled right under the on the first page under the adopt agenda the second arrow. I think it's two T's, isn't it? Yep, two T's. Mm -hmm. And um, I missed that. <laughs> and, and I wasn't sure on the very last page if it was Chick moved and build your supported to support extending the use of 75 Barker. I wasn't sure if that was correct or who did the moving, who did the supporting. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if anybody else may have any questions on that. And that was it. I don't know. Um, Ms. Otto, do you so know? So on that, um, in regards to page four, in regards to the Kiwanis using 75 Barker Road, mm -hmm. it did not state what 
was on here, it did say that you would have Kiwanis stay there until we get evaluation back from two Pauls. That's exactly what it said. Mm. It, there was no, okay. there was no pending or anything. Right. Well, we were going to get information back from the, from the, from That's Paul not Burns. what it said. Okay. It, you listen to it? Pending approval. Pending approval by? Of the two Pauls. Of the two Pauls. Oh, okay. Yeah, made Kiwanis okay. stay there until we get evaluation back from two Pauls. That's exactly what it said. Okay. Okay, and it's a rummage sale and not sell uh, in that same uh -huh. um, paragraph. Okay, um, back to page one. Um, under the adopt agenda, and we moved those item 10 and item um, nine on the second two arrows to precede item number two. So it was after item one, but before item two. Uh, okay, so sorry about that. Um, the second column, the first full paragraph, uh, Tepeyac Hill is spelled wrong. Uh, there's an extra E in there. And then it's uh, Steve Safranic, not James Safranic, um, for the people. Anybody else have any changes on page one? Uh, go ahead, Mr. Oh, Dunn. not on one, no. No, not on one? Okay, we can go to whatever page you'd like. Page two. Okay. Uh, top of the second column. It's not a okay. correction, but it says, I ask if the township attorney recommended and got no answer. I would like to have an answer from the attorney. Okay. Said it. And this is an answer to the question. Shockley said that the resolution was recommended by the township mm -hmm. attorney. And I asked that then, and it's not in the bullet points, but that's the question I asked, and I didn't get an answer. So I didn't get an answer, and it's not in the bullet. So I'd like to have it in there. And then I'll put that one in. Right. Yeah. I would like to change donation to contribution, though, <laughs> at the top there. It's not really a, a townships don't donate, but. Um, but that's what the motion was originally was donate. Well, it. There were yeah, the memo. Both it had both yeah. words in there: donate were, and, and contribution. contribution. But the motion you know, was it to, was an error. The, don the memo had um, donation, but the motion had contribution. contribution. Yeah. Does Wayne need to specify what he's asking or what he's pointing out? Yeah, he does. Because I don't know, Wayne. What were you wanting to have in here? What What did you need added to the minutes? I, uh, Miss Limble would like to know. What's the exact question that you want to be asked and answered? Uh, I, I asked the question of when the supervisor said that uh, when, when we're talking about the resolution of the uh, preservation, land preservation. Item number nine. That's right. And I asked the question. Uh, she, what, what she said was that the, uh, I asked where it came from. She said she wrote it. Mm -hmm. And she said that the township attorney said and recommended that she put that in there. I, and I asked at that time if he, but he didn't ever answer me. So he can answer me now. Okay. We'll be done with it or, or I want to put in here. I want to put in the minutes. That's what I ask. Okay. So does he want to answer me? Mr. Burns, he recommended that we have a resolution to uh, find a public purpose for the. I, I wrote a legal yeah. opinion. I wrote. I can't. I can't hear you. I wrote a legal opinion that said that the board, in order to do the transaction, needed to make a finding of a public purpose for the expenditure of the money. Okay. And, you, and you have a copy of the written legal opinion. 
And I what? You have a copy of the written legal opinion that I delivered to the oh. entire board. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thank you. Okay. I'll settle for that. Okay, thank you. Um, Okay, further, oh, Ms. Chick, go ahead. You can. Okay, real quickly, actually two things. First thing I wanna say, if we have like typos and name changes and that kind of yeah. thing, can't we send that to Lisa beforehand as opposed to discussing them at the meeting? Well, that's okay. I've said yeah. that many times. Yeah. That's what we should be doing, but yeah. like substantial changes, then we do at the meeting, okay. Yeah, All right, should. item number two, planning commission letter to the board of trustees regarding the marijuana ordinance. I don't know if that first paragraph is being redundant. Um, it says, uh, I'm gonna go to the third line, uh, permits to the Township Attorney to evaluate and to determine if the process used by the Planning Commission to evaluate it was proper. What is it? Okay. The ordinance to refer the marijuana ordinance. And it's so you're ordinance. questioning whether the yeah, or it, creating the ordinance the was proper? Ordinance. Or the process was Pro the process, process mm -hmm. was proper. Because it yeah, wasn't process. any different than any process we did for any other ordinance. So. Well, it, he's also evaluating the ordinance. I mean, he, right. he also is reading the ordinance. Right, but process. it says to evaluate if the process was proper. Yeah. Is that what we want? Is that what was said? Yeah. Because well, doesn't, doesn't our attorney have to review all ordinances to determine whether they're appropriate anyways? They haven't always done that. Yeah. Yeah, I think the questioning here was how it was created, and that's what you're questioning. If that was proper, if that was proper, if the process, but also the ordinance. I mean, right, gonna, right. you know. The ordinance has to be reviewed, line, reviewed yeah. anyways. Right. I'm just questioning that okay. line. Why would we be? I understood it to mean um, not only primarily the process, like the uh, call for the hearing, and then the uh, the fact that the planning commission sent the opinion back yes. without the hearing yeah. or before that's or after down, the hearing. That's down here, and that's, yeah. that's why I'm asking if it's redundant. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay, I I don't think it's the first part of it says that I wanted do we referred the marijuana ordinance and the application that includes districts uses and permits to the township attorney to evaluate it. I should have said them, I guess, and to determine if the process used by the Planning Commission to evaluate the marijuana ordinance was proper. Wow. I guess it would have to be the public hearing and everything, you know? Okay, the public hearing I understand, yeah. but of the process of creating the ordinance, is, then are you gonna oh, question was, every ordinance? Okay. That was fine, okay. no, All right. that That's was fine. That's how I read it, okay. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> to determine if the public Hearing process was proper. There you go. If the public hearing, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any more? Okay. Miss Otto. So on number two, I, I see that we had a motion withdrawn and that was based on Bellinger moved that the board receive a legal opinion but I don't see where the motion was voted on on the top one what was the outcome of the top one hmm. I don't know there was no motion carried uh, reported in that okay hmm. Did you check the tape, Ms. Nope. Otto? You did I not did check not. the tape? I did not. That part I did not check. Okay. I don't know. I'd have to look at my notes, and I don't know if it's in there. Um, I don't believe there was a support. I don't think we voted on it. Uh, I don't think I don't there was a support, and I don't think it. it was a vote. I think it was uh, Mr. Yeah. Burns responded okay. that uh, if it's, well, like I said here, need not research this if it's done lawfully. So I think that's why I withdrew it. Hmm. The, the original, original motion, not you, not the one that you did, um, Tom, but the original motion by mm -hmm. Marlene. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the one down here. So you think we have not voted on that? Nope. We voted, we voted on, on it. On we just it. need I to I just don't know it. what it was. Okay. We have to go back and look. Okay. Well, we'll have to find that information out. Should we set these minutes aside? Yeah. Or, Okay and we'll make all of those other corrections and 
Yeah, could, can I please more? ask what exactly is, is this part right here above number two that you're asking about or just that the number part two? part above number two was for number nine. And that's what you're questioning? No. No. What are we questioning? I'm questioning that there was not any record showing what was the outcome of that vote. Of? Number two. two. Of item number two. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. okay. That first motion. Right. Okay. There was one on the second motion. But not this but one. But not on the wrong. first motion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks for catching <coughs> that. Okay. Who? Mr. Dockett has a question. Go ahead, Mr. Dockett. I have a statement I don't agree with, Chuck. I think it's important that we have these minutes talked about, just like tonight. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of problems with the minutes, and we're going to make it right. We, you know, this this much of my packet is already a consent agreement. So I, I don't think we need to add the minutes to it, in my opinion. Thank you. Okay, we didn't, but yeah. We, okay. Okay. Go ahead. We're good. We didn't okay. yet. Um, and under number eight, it's BHS insurance um, instead of VHS insurance. So that's on page three, under number eight. <coughs> v. Yep. Okay, I'm just changing it to tonight. Okay, B. B as in boy. Okay, B. <coughs> okay, and that's all. Okay, so we'll set this aside for to find out that one vote and uh, bring it back next meeting. Excuse me. <clears throat> you should just move to table the minutes to the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I move to table the minutes to the next meeting. Support. Or Motion by Chuck, we support by Bellinger. All in favor say aye. So aye. I, I had a discussion on that. So I okay, think Ms. Ms. Chick raised a good point. It, when can we get the minutes to be reviewed <coughs> so that, I mean, it would be nice to include in there, here's all the spelling errors so that we, you know, here it is. So we don't have to do it at um, the board meeting. Or at least we can say that someone found it and we know about it. And then it helps Lisa and helps the board members. And I agree with Ms. Chick. I mean, the, the conversation should be okay. maybe the m meaning if there's something missing. Right. Certainly a vote is important. Okay. But it would be good to maybe have a little more robust process so okay. that the spelling errors and cr that corrections are identified and included in the packet if possible. Okay. And then we can talk about any other maybe misunderstanding mm -hmm. or some content. Um, if they come in early enough, I do review them and make whatever changes that I've noticed mm -hmm. um, with um, Ms. Lambo, but okay. I don't always have time to sure. do that. So. And that's fine if we don't. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, here we go. They're tabled. Okay. Oh, did we? No, we didn't do. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. They're did tabled to the next meeting. Did the manager have a question or a statement? Mr. Raines, did you have a question or statement? At one time, the board had said that they would like the minutes as soon as they're available in draft form, yeah. and we've been sending those out by email, so I they don't always. That. Yep. So they they don't always come consistent because it depends how long the meeting was, how complicated, you know, that type of thing. But yeah, there is a rule in six days, as I think it is. I would like to have somebody look it up, but. There is a rule that we get the minutes within a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? Okay. Yep. okay, well, we can check into that. I also have the minutes sent once you approve them out to all the staff people in uh, our end of the building so that they can see what the board has been doing as well. Okay. Well, uh, let's move on to the public. I'm going to remind you about the minutes. Let's move on to the public hearing. I'd like to make a motion to open the public hearing for the 2019-2020 fiscal year budget. Support. Motion by Chuck, we support by Bellager. So um, now is an opportunity to come up if anyone has comments on uh, the next fiscal year budget. Feel free to come up and share it with the board. Okay, seeing no one. 
Pardon? Oh, yeah, let's vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you very much. All right, so the public hearing was open and no one wanted to speak. I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing. Support. Motion by Chuck, we support by Bellager to close the public hearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you, that passes 7-0. Um, now I'd like to make a motion to open the public hearing on ordinance 1964, an amendment to chapter 10, article five, um, barking dogs and dog leashes of the Northfield Township Code of Ordinances. So I made a motion to open, does any, okay. Support. Second by Chick. Any discussion on this one? All in favor say aye. Aye. We're opening the public hearing on the dog, barking dogs and dog leashes ordinance. <coughs> it, it looks like that, yeah. This one? Is it stuck to this? Mine was it, right behind it. Oh, yeah. that's it. Number 2A. Number 2A in my packet. I called it number 2A. <laughs> yeah, because you had a question about this, Wayne. Uh, you did have it because you had a question about the, um, the barking. It was called barking dogs or something. So you were concerned it was about dog, uh, barking dogs when I said that's yeah. just the title of the... Mm -hmm. The ordinance, and we're amending Could, it. Let's uh, let's do the public hearing portion of this because we're going to deal with it again later. Okay. Does anyone have any comments out there in the public who would like to come and share those with the board about the, the uh, ordinance 1964? Okay. Seeing no one, I'd like to make a motion to close the public hearing. For ordinance support. 1964, motion by Chalkley, support by Bellager. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No? Okay, thank you. That passes. Okay. The next item uh, we're going to take out of order is the wastewater treatment plant question that Mr. Dockett had. I can't find it in my head either, but uh, let me ask the question. Uh, I'm talking about the 48 hours overtime. Uh, that's uh, eight hours at least more than you generally have. Is there something I should know that I don't? You want to know why we had more overtime this month? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, the weather, the high flows. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the high flows flushed rags down the lines, ended up in pumps, plus the weather. We had some issues with some storms and stuff. So uh, It looked like it was quite a bit less flow than it was a year ago, but uh, I, as I remember. But, uh, and the other question I had was, you have on there two hookups. Well, they, they were two hookups, but they were free. Yes, they were. <laughs> so uh, just so re I don't, <laughs> when, when they tear down a house and build a new house and look in and they don't have to pay the sixty-three fifty. dollars They put them back on the sewer bill. Yeah, so they're back on the sewer bill. Yeah. But we didn't really gain anything. Uh, no, but we didn't lose for once. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you. Does anyone else have any questions for Mr. Willis? Um, I just want to see that, I mean, how many days had you been over your permit limit um, for um, flow? Um, I think we are only over one or two days two on days. the, the 1.3 million gallons we were over. That's your maximum, um, right? Yeah. Three. Yeah. But we were, 
we were consistently in the million gallons. Mm. But the flow was real consistent. We didn't have too many peaks, so it was easier for us to handle. Good. Yeah, because I see 1.4 and 1.5 on, on a couple <laughs> days, and then you said it went back down. Yes. Uh, finally, I guess, below. So that would have been nine days um, above 1 million gallons. Um, Correct. Okay. Thank you. Was all your equipment running? What? Was all your equipment equipment running? At full yes, blast? yes, we did fire up uh, the third aeration and had that running for the first time. Okay, thanks. Uh, Ms. Manley? We have a question. Um, oh, sorry. A question. So you're using, you use this, the third aeration tank to control the high flow? Yeah, we were, we were using it as sort of a retention basin to even out the flows, but this time um, we put solids in it, so we actually used it as an aeration tank. It took a lot of work to, to get it evened out and to, to get it to work, and, and, and we used that for like nine days. We had that up and running. And when we were flows dropped down, we took it back offline. So is that a viable option in the future? Or something that we can yeah, we work will with. try and do that every time. If if we approach two million gallons, we cannot. It won't help us that much. But when just a little bit high, we can do it. Okay. And, and what's our permit for the plant? One point three million. Thanks. That's what I thought. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else for Mr. Willis? Okay, we have a question on. The police report. So, um, and I, my apologies, I didn't get to you before the meeting, Chief, but there's a new report in our reports from you. And I was wondering if you could give us an explanation of what it is. It, it gives you kind of a uh, map view of the calls for service. Okay. Um, we don't like it. We're still going to play with this and okay. try to uh, adjust it to make it a little more user friendly. Um, but yep. like I say, it gives you an idea of where, from a map perspective, the different types of in incidents occurred. Okay. And then, so the map, and then on the other side, um, I sort of figured out the map a little, um, but I wasn't really sure about the graphs, that were what I was looking at. There's, there's no units that are visible. Yeah, that's not yeah. a very good graph. Okay. Um, we'll... Uh, We'll try to make that better and okay. make it so, more understandable. All right, and again, I just didn't get I don't the like the colors of it. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little harder for us older people to uh -huh. Yeah, while we're on I'm, that, can I'm I I'm an ask, older people. <laughs> can I ask a question while we're on that one? What are the red circles along what looks like North Territorial? What are most of those? Are we on the map? Yeah, we're on the uh, map. I'm just kind of curious. I, I believe those are all medical calls. Yeah. Medical calls? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, wow. A lot of medical calls on North Territorial, huh? be a good place to be living. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully it was an accident. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't live in her dirt wheel. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. true. Okay, thank um, you. All right, so um, we did this. Okay. Now Thanks. we are at, okay, DTE request to remove trees. Um, I will make a motion to authorize the township manager to sign the DTE tree removal agreements for tree removal on the identified township owned properties and to retain the wood chips for township use. So um, motion by Chalkley, support by Manley. Now we can discuss. Discussion, yes. Yeah. I, oh, oh. Mm, well, Ms. Chick. So the wood chips, where will they be stored? How long will they have to be stored there? And what, who's going to be spreading the chips? And then we'll let Mr. Ains talk about, well, it's a parks and rec thing. Go ahead. Well, I, I uh, did inquire with some parks and rec individuals when I saw that in our packet. Mm -hmm. And I asked, and apparently we don't need them at the garden. Oh. And we haven't yeah, used them at the one mile loop. So there's, okay. I apparently we have sufficient at the garden. We do not need more at the garden at this time because I asked. 
community where are they garden. Putting, where are they putting them at the garden? I think between the beds they were putting them. Yeah. Yeah. So to the keep the grass weeds. down. Right, but yeah. it still looks. Uh, when did they do that? Because it still looks really weedy. It, it looks it's really bad still. Yeah. I, I'm just saying I asked, and that's the feedback I got, because I said there may be wood chips. Yeah, do we, we need them? Do we want them? Be what? Able to use them at the garden a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. You, you could use like you several use inches them. to keep those weeds down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm just telling you, I did put the word out there and ask. I said there may be wood chips. Can we use them? Do we want them? Where? And it was no. Okay, so where are they going to go? All right, then they'll just dump them on North Territorial like they do every all of them. I mean, have you seen them? Uh, if you go, go down North Territorial where DTE is, there are mountains and mountains of wood chips. I mean, mountains of wood chips out there. So, so, so those wood chips there are dumped there for public use yes. by the tree removal company that right. uh, parks their vehicles mm -hmm. back there. Mm -hmm. Just that's what that's what they're there for. Not DTE. It, it's not DT. It's, yeah. a, it's a contractor for DT. Right. I, I just didn't want to see them sitting back there on the property forever. And yeah. Oh no. You said that's on North Territorial? Give them the bronze game. Yes. <laughs> there you go. You can't miss them. So, so the, anyway, okay. If I could comment. Oh, uh, go, go ahead. Uh, DTE contracts their tree removal and trimming, so it would probably be the same people taking the wood chips. Uh -huh. yeah. And in terms of identifying the trees, <laughs> while they've Bless given you. us. Bless you. While they've given us the area photo, <laughs> Uh, I couldn't get them out before the board meeting, but I have an appointment Thursday afternoon to walk the sites with the contractor. Mm -hmm. But I mainly put it on because of the objection last year that the road commission received for removing trees. Did not not want to have the same situation where we had trees taken down that the board was not aware of. Okay. Different issue. Yeah. Well, we don't want to lose our electrical service either, so. Oh. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so I am happy to remove the uh, retaining the wood chips. Support. Okay, so we'll just authorize the township manager to sign the tree removal agreement. Well, I have a comment. I mean, okay, you ahead. mentioned, I mean, the hickory trees. Um, I didn't get an opportunity to drive by and see it, but is it possible just to trim them as opposed to absolutely remove them? Not so much about the elm trees because a Dutch elm eventually they'll die. But, I mean, on the hickory, I mean, I don't know. Is that an option, is just to trim them? Perhaps uh, if he walks them, he'll know. Yeah, I expect him to explain to me why they want to take a tree down as opposed to trimming it. Five? Yeah. And do we know the size? I don't. Okay. Again, they may be totally out of the way or they may be oh. in place we want them yes. removed anyway, but uh, I wanted to see them before I was signed off on them. Okay. I got another question regarding this. Mm -hmm. um, we, I'd, we probably need to make sure or be certain that these trees are actually on the township property and not in the easement, that we're not trying to okay and give permission for easements that we don't have any uh, jurisdiction over. You can thank Mr. Dockett for pointing that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's a 50 foot right of way for the railroad track, there's a 100 foot right of way for the creek. And, uh, the, I, you know, I know we own a teeny little track going back there, but these trees are on the, I believe, on the. the Possibly the drain commission property. You know, so I thought we'd better be careful and give permission only for our, you know, for us, yes, but we're not giving permission to cut trees that are on the creek or on the railroad property. Do you know where, did you go and look where they're at there by my place? Yes, kind on of the other side of the track. Yeah, well, it, you know, if they're within 50 foot from the crook, yeah. they belong to the, I mean, that, they, they, I mean, the property is paid for. It's, it's an easement. So that means whoever owns it, we, we pay the property tax on the whole thing. But the, the railroad's got an easement and the crook's got an easement. So we have hardly anything left. 
Well, if there's anything questionable, I'll use the MDOT approach and say we'll give up whatever right we have to it and go from there. That's, that's what I would recommend. Okay. Um, all right. Vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone no. opposed? Oh, you, Ms. Zelnuck says no. Okay. So we have six to one. I think Mr. Um, Ains is smart enough to go figure this out, so I'm going to let him do it. I move to um, approve the engineering proposal for aeration system at the wastewater treatment plant. Support. Support. Okay. <coughs> Motion by Bellager. Support by Chick. Um, discussion. Go ahead, Ms. Bellager. I, I was curious. I didn't, uh, I had uh, some questions about some of this equipment, so I actually had my husband do a little research. He helped me with this to figure out because it almost sounded like, um, like you know, it sounded questionable what they're talking about with regards to the energy savings and so forth. But the research shows that this variable frequency drives do um, do indeed can be tuned and work effectively and, and can can maybe uh, solve these issues with uh, trying to save a little bit of money. Okay. Any, qu Any what other? You, any other? Oh, any so that means you're in favor of it. Okay. Okay. Back in 2010, we we looked at this project then, and, mm -hmm. and we got a proposal then, and yeah. there was a thing with DTE that if you got it, you could pay for it. They would give you some money back if you could uh, pay for it in energy savings mm -hmm. in eight years. And at that time, it was 8.5 years, so we did not do it at that point. We didn't have the money in the budget. Um, we're gonna, that, this is what I want to do is look at it again and see what we can do and how much it's going to cost. I'm not sure exactly what this will all cost. Okay. Find out the payback period? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And then there still are some refunds from DTE for energy savings and stuff. Plus, not only the refunds back from DTE is... If you save eight years worth of energy, you know, it, it makes sense to do it even for just that, even if you don't get some refund. Okay. Ms. Manley. So the blower that you're replacing, does that just get trashed or can you resell that? No. Or what? Um, currently, they're, they were put in in 1978. Um, they have 75 horsepower motors that tw run 24 hours a day. Um, they're oversized, so we got them cranked down as low as we can, and we're still over aerating. <clears throat> so with the, with the VFD, what it does is it slows the motor down to meet the requirements for oxygen. So we put an oxygen probe in there, and like at night when the demand goes down, we slow the blowers down, and you save that much energy then. Okay. So that's how this is supposed to work. Currently, we have um, at some of our pump stations, our eight-mile pump stations, we have VFDs in there, and at night, when the flow slows down at 8 mile, the pumps slow down, and that saved us a lot of money over the years on those. Okay. So whenever we can use a VFD for that type of situation, that's what we do. Okay. Is that like Otto? a capacitor? Ms. Otto's turn. Yeah. yeah. It yes. can either, you can either slow it down or, yeah. or yeah, either way. Ms. Otto. So you made the comment that... Um, that you have energy savings. Um, I, I take it because of with the blower running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and now you're doing intermittent. No, we'll still be running. Up and we'll run. still be running at 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. seven days a week. It just uh, it'll be a, a smaller motor. Okay. And it will be able to slow down, and, and the, when the motor slows down, you use less energy. Okay. So okay. that's how. Okay. Have it's you determined work. what the cost savings of that is? That's what we're. That's what we're going to try and do. Okay. Uh, the whole project, we get the cost savings, how much the project's going to cost us, mm -hmm. and we'll go from there. When we get that all set up, then we'll come back to the board with those numbers and see if we want to proceed with that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you. That passes 7-0. I'd like to make a motion to uh, approve the hiring of Eric 
Nel, how do you pronounce it? Nel Heibel? It's Nel Heibel. Nel Heibel, okay. Approve the hiring of awesome. Eric Nel Heibel as a paid on call firefighter for at a beginning rate of $10.50 an hour. I'll support. Contingent okay. on passing background check and physical. Correct. Okay, so motion by Chuck, we support by auto. Any discussion on this item? Mr. Dockett. Where does it say 1050? Mr. Wagner told me that I, earlier. I forgot today. to put that in the memo. Okay, well, I, I think it needs to be put in. It's in the motion. What is a typical part timer? Is this part? What is a typical part timer worker? Does it make hard it, to tell? It really depends on the, how the, available they are. Yeah, everyone's different. All right, thank he, you. He is fully trained, though. That's the bonus there. So he's going to be valuable to you if he passes yes. his. Yep. Thank you. Um, is Mr. Willis needed for any other questions? Nope. Go ahead, Mr. Willis. Thank you for coming in tonight. Thanks for the reminder, Ms. Belger. Um, okay, so we have a motion. We can, anybody have any more questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you, that passes. Um, and then um, I guess Mr. Wagner can leave also. I, I do have one, right? one quick comment when you're talking about the budget. Um, okay. I had sent okay. a vet a, uh, an email and, and for two changes that needed to be made from when I was in front of the board for the budget. Oh. That look, I see that one of them has been made, but one of them hasn't been. Okay. And so the one, if somebody will just make a note when you're talking about this, the I need the $20,000 that I had in the 207 fund for the sale of the vehicles to be moved to the 266 fund because those vehicles were purchased with NARC money. Oh. So when we sell them, that money has to go back into the federal NARC fund. Okay. And it's um, the 208 fund? 207. It, it's 207. in the 207 fund, but it needs to be in the 266 fund. 266. So I, and I had sent that to her, but she must have just missed that part of the email. <laughs> and what's the value? Okay. 20000 Okay, great. I'll mention it to her. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And anything else for me? Thank I you very much. Have anything. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> on your on your new contract. Oh. <laughs> your, yeah, your, thank you. Your new <laughs> job. Yeah. Your new responsibilities. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, uh, so that passed. Um, the next item, um, I'll make a motion to affirm the township manager's approval for emer emergency electrical work at the community center. House support. Motion by Chuck, we support by auto. Um, any discussion on this item? You've all received emails at this point. So why um, is this on the agenda? Well. Why didn't he just sorry. do it? Yeah, yeah. it's under $5,000. Because um, he's afraid to do anything without. Well, well trees, I know, but, you know, affiliation for trees, but yeah. I mean, okay. I'm just curious. The, the reason I put it on the agenda was the okay. recommendation of your township attorney that I have the board go ahead and confirm it, just for the record. But I was doing it anyway. So but why is that, Mr. Um, Burns? Uh, generally, the township manager has no authority to contract. So what he did, he signed a contract in an emergency, and so it needs to be affirmed by the board after the fact. Okay. Okay, thank you for that information. That's a good uh, explanation. Um, okay. Mr. Dockett. I believe it's a waste of money. I've had the lights in my building for 46 years. And when I'm reading this, it says that they called the the electric company and they came out and put two new uh, palaces in and fixed the light. The next paragraph, he says, the manager says, 
They're hard to get. They're unavailable, practically. Well, you know, just because you have one light burn out, and like I said, I've had one ballast burn out. I simply have a new one put in. I don't spend $2,500. That's a waste of money. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. And I understand that position. That that's part of why I notified the board by email. But uh, I could also see the community center with the new roof burning down. Or you go to the point of having the grant done this coming year and have all the work done and have it burnt down. So I'd rather have the township pay this amount of money to avoid it. So it's really a safety net. And I did talk to our insurance company to verify that they were uh, in agreement with this process and that they also thought the LED lights were acceptable. Mm -hmm. And I realize there's difference of opinion on it, but it seemed like the best route to go at this point. And we did have to shut down the community center one day because of the odor, was that true? Yeah, we had to have it shut down for one day to do the internal work. That followed two days having to shut down to do the roof. Okay. And then they had to go back and do a little adjusting today, I believe. Okay. Can we call a question? Okay. Um, so it was motion by Chalky, support by Otto? Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Yes, I am. Um, okay, so it was six to one. Mr. Dockett opposed. Okay. Okay. The next item is uh, the Road Commission Maintenance Agreement number three. So um, you all know we have put in. What uh, happened to number five? five? Number five, please. What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. The, you're right. I'm off. I'm off by one. Oh, I know. It's because it's still up. I thought I here. lost another one. Okay. All right. I will make a motion to uh, pass the amendment to ordinance number 1964. Well, Chapter 10, Article 5, Section 10-102. Hmm. I support. Pass or question. approve. Pardon? Are you saying pass or approve? To approve. Okay. Well, yeah, approve ordinance. Okay. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, on page, uh, I guess I'll just call it so wait, the second you get page. A second? Uh, yeah, Ms. Bellager seconded. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I missed that. Item number, doo -doo 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 -doo. where is it? Um, number 15. Where Do we need to modify that? What page are you on? Um, I'm on this item here. It's the, it's the, um, it's the dog leash ordinance thing. Yes. It was part of the, no, my numbers. Um, 15, I, I don't see do that. We, we don't have that. Oh, is this something I added? Oh. I'm sorry, maybe it's something that. I added. Do we have a copy of this? Uh, nope. The bark part? Yeah, the, the rules that oh. we want to um, approve. Well, we're not approving the rules. We're just, uh, the the, yeah, the we're ordinance. just changing the ordinance to allow the township manager to. To add the rules. To add the rules. For enforcement. Right, and, and what this does is it allows um, us, to, uh, you know, every time we change something in an ordinance, we got to go through public hearings. And so we can else. change the ordinance uh, so without having to go through all the public hearing. Po right. We can just change the bark park rules. Just the bark park rules. Yeah. Okay. So. Anyway, just the bark. More dis what? Well, there's more um, that Mr. Ains would like to share about this. Well, just one thing: the rules as they are now would be what we'd go with, except for the fact part about being criminally prosecuted. That was what I was going to address. Yeah, we need to scratch that line, or at least half of that line. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was wanting to say. I'm sorry, I, did, I just had my, old, my own copy, so I just tagged it on here. Number 15 says individuals failing to comply with posted rules are subject to citation, expulsion, 
or arrest as well as dog impound. And perhaps after the word citation should be removed. It can if the dog bites somebody. Um, oh, we don't have that, is that right? That's right. You do not have that. So the rules need to track the ordinance. So right. Jennifer's retyping the rules. Many, much of that's been removed in the rules, especially the arrest portion. I asked her to remove it because we can't enforce anything that's really not tracked to the ordinance. So the rules are going to say that the, the rules are governed by the ordinance. And so it's a regurgitation of the ordinance plus on the rules, plus a notice that it's under regulated under the ordinance, which becomes a civil infraction, not a criminal matter. Okay, great. So Jennifer is reworking the rules, but the ordinance is fine. Okay, great. So if we approve this, then we're, we're good, to, good to go. Okay, right. thank you. Mr. Dockett. Okay, my question is, there's no page number, but uh, let me see. One, two, third page. It says, uh, section one amendment. So are we talking only about this part? Is that the only thing we're voting on? Is the second? The section one amendment right. number 10, article five, section 10, 102. Yes, we're, we're yeah. only adding what's underlined to the current ordinance. Yeah, okay, but what I want to know is there's several parts, several times on here. First page, they talk about barking dogs. Barking dog. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? Barking dog. Dogs bark. Why? <laughs> but yeah. there's nothing in here that says we're talking about barking dogs. Is that right? <laughs> we're not. We're not voting on any barking dogs. No, we're only voting on this. The lines that are underlined. Oh, but it says. But it says uh, section one. Yep. Amendment, uh, Chapter no, 10, Article 5, Section 10-102, mm -hmm. Leash Dog right. shall read the following. So there's nothing to do with a barking no. dog. No. So no. Why, is it, why is it in? <laughs> okay, Chapter 10, Article 5 is about barking dogs and dog leashes. That's... That's the, the the overall name. heading of of the Article Five, and then these sections are underneath, and those are different rules associated with so, that. So, do we have a rule against dogs barking? I hope so. Yeah. Noise no, ordinance. we do have noise ordinance nu yeah. nuisance. Yes. Okay. Oh, I was thinking at the dog park. The okay. Okay. So, um, any more questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you. That okay. passes. Oh, we didn't cover by any barking dogs in here. No, mm -hmm. we didn't no. Didn't talk about barking dogs. <laughs> That's already very good. Okay, now we're at the road commission contract. Um, so this is really at the pleasure of the board on what to do about this. We had discussed Nollar Road and getting it debermed. And so those are the two top dots on this page. I move to accept the Washtenaw County Road Commission maintenance agreement contract number three as presented. Um, okay, uh, and that would be uh, the recommendations um, underneath um, at the end. Well, I guess we can maybe second it and then talk about what uh, yes. we're going to approve. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll because... Support. Okay, motion by uh, Belliger, support by Zelnock. Okay, let's talk about it. Does everyone understand what's going on here? Uh, Ms. Otto, go ahead. So the question that I have is uh, on Six Mile Road, Autumn Drive to Earhart Road. Right. 
where it says that the culvert replacement at Cary Lane is a private road approach. Yes. Now, why are we paying for that We're culvert? Not. No, see, these are the, we asked for estimates for different things that we were interested in. And when I got the, I went out there with um, the district, yeah, with Mike, district foreman, we looked at Six Mile and came, went down to Cary Lane, and that culvert that's buried is 40 feet wide. But the road has widened itself out over time, and now they need a 50-foot culvert because the one end is totally blocked. So, and, and but it's it is, a private it road. It is a private road, and I don't believe we should be paying for that. No, we shouldn't. Right, and that's why in the recommendations here, we notify Carrie Lane homeowners about that problem, get it replaced, and figure out how we're going to assess for the, those costs. So why... This is, so this Go was ahead. confusing for me. Sure. Because it says estimate total project cost $30,900. Yep. yep. Estimate without carry lane culvert 23300 right. right. So we're, we should be doing the work without the culvert in there. And the, and the culvert work should be okay. still done by the, right. the, the challenge, by the homeowner. The challenge we're having here, though, is we have quotes for much more money than we have set aside for this. So we were planning on $40,000, and now we've got quotes for uh, $12,800 for North Naller, so that would be, you know, out of the $40,000. A total of $52,400 on these sheets. And then, and yeah, and then we've got the Autumn Drive to Earhart, and we've got six miles from Earhart to Rushton, and I'm looking at this going, oh my, uh, this is way more money than we even had uh, set aside for this. So I tried to figure out how are we gonna get down to $40,000 unless the board would like to go higher. Um, and so my recommendations were to improve the $2 road segments at a cost of $12,800, um, notify Cary Lane property owners of the pro culvert problem have the road commission replace it and correct the drainage that's around there. There's, there's drainage problems um, because we really need to correct drainage problems mm -hmm. and, um, and work out the assessment for the costs. And then we have, I was suggesting allocating $20,000 to improve drainage township wide and that could be anywhere we're having problems. And then an additional amount of limestone um, to raise the road, you know, or fill in potholes as we have it. Now, we already have set aside um, $19,300 for township-wide limestone. So that would, 7200 would be a little more uh, added on to that. So anyway, that, that was just my recommendation. And, and then I thought, well, the action requested was to authorize the township manager, the public safety director, and me, and you know, any input from board members uh, to work with the road commission to complete the selection of projects at an additional cost not to exceed $40,000. So really, that we could pick and choose out of this however you want, but... Um, we had only set aside $40,000, and you can see how much more money there they've got here. So, okay. Uh, the, the question yeah. still holds, though. Go ahead. The way this reads is, are we paying for the Cary Lane culvert up front and having them reimburse us? We have to figure out the logistics of that. Will the road commission No, then I'm them? not even going to vote on it. Do you want us to pay for it and get reimbursed? No. No. Because they won't a, do it. Can't we do an SAD? We get, well, I don't know. Maybe I Mr. Mean, Burns has an idea. An SAD, they would have to agree to it. Well, I know. But yeah. Well, we could just avoid the Cary Lane thing right now. We could avoid Cary Lane. There's nine houses on there. Right. Right. An, an SAD on a private road? Yeah. Yeah. So there is a specific statute that townships can do a special assessment district for maintenance and capital improvements on private roads but the property owners have to agree to it. Right. I mean, that okay. would be the way I would do yeah. it. They would have to agree and we would do an SAD. Yeah. And if they don't agree, I guess they don't travel down their road? Well, 
what do we do then? We're, what happens is then we have uh, flooding problems. Basically, they, it alters the drainage of a lot of Six Mile when it won't go down the, the ditches and go through the culverts into the wetland that they have set up for it. Isn't that like a, I mean, a road commission, the water resources, isn't that the water resources to handle that and say you, I mean, can they not make them do that since it's impacting a yeah. public road? So, no. so I, that is a road commission issue. I know for, and I'm just bringing it into our subdivision, which is a private road, we had a culvert that collapsed as well. The road commission yeah. says you got to fix it. Yeah, yeah, we think. And yeah. we had to. Yeah. Um, nobody charged for it. The road commission says you just got to fix it because it impacted the railroad. It impacted mm -hmm. the stream behind the, mm -hmm. the 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 golf course and everything. So. Do you, have a home, do you have a homeowners association yes, that we did do. it? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know if these now. Oh, we homes paid do. extra. We oh, had yeah. to pay extra for how many years? Yep. About okay. seven, eight years we had okay. to pay extra. So my recommendation is just that we get it done and figure out how, you know, and let the, um, the township manager, you know, whoever get it done properly through the road commission and drain commission if necessary. Well, we can do the rest of it if you want. I, uh, I don't have any problem with the rest of it other than okay. Cary Lane. I yeah. agree. I think okay. we should uh, let the road commission look into Cary Lane and okay. we could yeah. attack all the uh, Nollar roads and the, some the of the six township mile. township shouldn't be responsible for, for a private oh, road, right? Of course not. But, you know, uh, honestly, um, I really wish we would go back to the way we used to do this where exactly. we had. This is, this is confusing. really confusing and convoluted and mm -hmm. um, a lot of things yeah. going on. Put a bunch of projects out there. Pick the projects we want yeah. and go with that. I don't. Yeah. I would hope not to see something like this next okay. year. Okay. Well, next year we can have a pre-meeting and have the road commission come here. It can be. Um, we can post it, and it can be a more informal. And that's what a lot of boards do. And so the questions can go back and forth, and it's it's just a lot more. Um, it's easier to, to actually communicate in that way rather than come to a board meeting like this. And you, we put them up there at the pedestal and then Why not? chew that's them up. That's your job. Yeah, but but it, it really, Ton, you, you, you went to that meeting with the Road Commission. Didn't you find that very valuable to sit there and be able to have this back and oh, forth? Oh, absolutely. There was no doubt it was. Very yeah, much so. But we yeah, can have, we it can have it here. Yeah. And but it doesn't have to be during a big during a meeting. We can do both. You know? We can have like a pre-meeting yeah. that's open to the public, and then yeah, we can have them come and do yeah, the, the presentation. Yeah, the public should, okay, be should be fine. Yes. able to comment on the roads. They that's, should, and they fine. should understand yeah. how the funding works, and or exactly. AKA doesn't work. And we learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you can have a yeah. to me a discussion back and forth about road projects and. You know, maybe say this is why we're picking that, but I do believe the board should come, or the road commission should come to a board meeting and yep. explain it. It should be documented. The material yep. should be handed out and explained so the public understands how road funding works and, like I said, or right. doesn't work. Yeah. And I and I did okay. have the opportunity to speak to the road commission director, and okay. she said that she sure. wanted to try something different, but yeah. this isn't. Um, it it does it doesn't hold well with transparency of what we're it trying to do work. in the township. It, it doesn't work well. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll try, we'll do it differently next year. And, and my concern is like we're allocating 20,000 to improve drainage, drainage, where? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. I don't like um, this I don't either. nebulous, okay. you know, like nebulous somewhere. Type of yeah, stuff. I want, we're going to do this. This is an issue. We're going to okay. fix this, and we're going to allocate money to this. So I, I don't like that. Okay, well, let's let's fix Nala Road, and let's fix uh, Six Mile from Autumn Drive to Earhart Road. Leaving out Cary Lane, we'll let, uh, we'll let the Road Commission figure out how to get that part done. You want to do, or do you want to wait on that one and do the Six Earhart to Rushton until the Road Commission comes back with something from, Air, from Autumn Lane? I think I'd prefer to do the latter. Just like the six mile to yeah. the Earhart Road to Rushton. Six mile, Earhart. Oh, so, okay. The lower one, the last bullet. And keep Autumn, uh, autumn Lane off and until yeah. they figure it out. Until it gets figured out and we know the whole process and the, right. the how it's going to. 
Because I'm not sure it makes sense us to fix it if the ditch doesn't get or the culvert doesn't right. get fixed. Right. Right. We're just money. throwing yeah. bad money, at, right. good so, money after bad. So I don't. Yeah. Okay. It, it it doesn't matter to me. We can do both of those uh, that you're talking about, Earhart to Russian. It's just that they are starting at Dixboro and they're working their way east. So they're going from Dixboro to uh, Autumn mm -hmm. Lane already. And they're rebuilding. That's an eighty-some-thousand-dollar project. They're rebuilding that whole area because it, it's a mess. And then, um, if they were to continue on, they would go all the way to uh, Earhart Road. But the Carry Carry Lane comes off between Autumn Drive and Earhart Road, so there is that culvert issue. Mm -hmm. But again, if the culvert down. isn't working, is that not impacting the road? And do you it want? Is. And then, do you want to put money and fixing it until the Probably culvert's fixed? That's kind of it. You can always come back. All right. With, I, with I'm gonna, yeah, we can always come back and maybe we'll just add more to the budget. Well, we don't have to pay for it. I know that. Okay. What, what do you but mean we don't have we, to pay okay. for the we culvert? We wouldn't have to pay. We won't have to yeah. pay for the culvert, but right, yeah, we'll the rest of the road, the road yeah. here. Yeah. We're, we're not going to have to pay for the culvert anyway. I get that. Okay. No, we're talking about adding road. more money yeah. on for the road, road there. Okay. Okay. All right, so which, which pieces do you want? The Nuller and then the Six Mile Earhart to Rushton. Okay. Yep. But I see your point because now you have a gap of road that hasn't been improved and it's right. about a quarter mile or a third of a mile yeah. on Six Mile. Right. Yeah. So There's I understand that like concern, that. but the situation still remains. We would have to have uh, the um, Carrie Lane residents right. approve that culvert right. exactly. before we would go forward yeah. on that. I agree. Unless we can force them. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Something there's a lot of cost them. associated to mobilization. And, you know, um, once they get going on it, it's easier to keep going than to break it off and then have to come back. But, I mean, but that's okay. Is it right, Mr. Burns, we can, you said that there is a, we can do an SAD on the private road <coughs> without their approval? No, they have, they no, have to agree. They, they have, typically they would have to petition oh. the board for us to create a special assessment district oh, okay. with, All a, right. with a budget okay. and everything. Great. Could we make them dig it out themselves? Could, could you do what? Can we make the Cary Lane people dig it out and make it 40 feet again? Uh, I'm not sure I know enough about code issue. whether you could sue somebody to make them do that. I don't know off uh, the cuff. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> Ms. Manley. So we haven't talked to anybody on Carrie Lane yet, so they're no, not aware of this. They are not aware of this. Okay. All right. Let's leave that one off for now then. Okay. So the uh, amended uh, agreement says to approve the Nala Road work for mm -hmm. 4,300, Nala Road work at five to seven for 8,500, yep. and the six mile road work Earhart to Rushton for 16,3. Okay. And then throw the rest into limestone or drainage. I don't want to do drainage without knowing the drainage. Yeah. Well, I would like yeah. to do the the 7200 is not a problem. Right. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, again, if drainage, if someone identifies, and by this time we should have had this area or that area within the township identify as needing help, as opposed to, well, we'll just fix drainage. I don't know what that means. Okay, well, the district foreman says there's some particularly bad sections of Kearney, Spencer, and Noller where improved drainage would be helpful. So, mm. um, he knows where they are. But they should have been. Been, yeah. Oh, well, they don't usually do this address or this address or whatever, but. Um, so, I, I mean, they wouldn't just indicate that, you know, Kearney at this section, Spencer at this section, and Noller at this section? See, I've actually seen them and just, I've seen them actually yeah. dump some as needed. Yeah. And it may not be a lot, but it's a little. And, yes. and they dump it where it's needed, and it does help. They've done this on my stretch right. of road, and it's made a right. big improvement. Right. I wasn't, I don't even think anybody knew about it, except if you drove that road and saw that, oh, there's some fresh limestone there. Yeah. And then, and that's what they do with the limestone that we have already contracted for. The 19,300 Last year, we contracted for over $40,000 in limestone. And this year, 
we only have 19,300. So we're, we don't have as much limestone set aside for this coming year. Um, so we could add, add, add the remainder of the 40,000 to um, the limestone. Okay. So we are, we are at $2, the six mile from Earhart to uh, Rushton. And then we will add the remainder of the $40,000 to the township wide limestone, whatever that comes out to. Support. Okay, so we need to um, withdraw the other uh, motion. We had a Bellinger Zelnock motion. So we could discuss. So, so we could discuss it. So, so. Ms. Bellinger, would you withdraw your prior motion? I could Chuck withdraw, or, yeah, I could withdraw okay. the prior motion. Okay. Want me to make another motion to approve these? Yes, go ahead. You already did, right? All right. I move that we approve the Washtenaw County Road Commission maintenance <coughs> agreement that will include um, Nollar Road North Territorial to Five Mile for $4,300, Nollar Road Five Mile to Seven Mile for $8,500. Six Mile Road, Earhart to Rushton for $16,300. And a remainder figure of? 10900 10900 Okay. For, for uh, township-wide limestone. Okay. I'll second that, unless Ms. Elma. That's fine. You okay. can authorize the attorney, no, not the attorney, authorize the manager, I guess, to sign the agreement. Was this um, what was the, needed? They always have the town, they always have the supervisor sign. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that'd be great. Okay, any more discussion? Just Go ahead, Mr. Just one Haynes. item is that we did get the first billing for this year's work, mm -hmm. and it's a total of uh, 23,179, but they did uh, dust, one dust control application, the Six Mile Road, Dixborough Road uh, intersection work, and that's the joint project with Salem Township, mm -mm. and about 7,000 no. worth of limestone. We don't have any joint projects with uh, Salem Township this year. Oh, that was the prior year. That was last year. Yeah. Okay, yeah. at the intersection there where you and Tom and I looked at it with them. Mm -hmm. So they are moving ahead with your prior approvals yeah. for those work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Last year. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you. Well, took a little bit, but thank you very much. Yeah. Certainly we need a better process next year. Yeah. 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 This was Yep. We we didn't get it in until very late. We Ms. Need to get it in the meantime, can we either us or the road commission work with these people on Cary Lane to try to get that figured out? Yes, we need to do something there. Can we authorize having the uh, township manager sure. work with Carrie Lane? Okay. As it is? Okay. So will we need a motion? Okay. okay, we'll make or, a motion. Or I could, I could volunteer some time and drop things off with them. If you have some paper form, you want to drop off with them or reach out to them because they're just it, around the corner well, from me. It might be some legal kind of paperwork. No, I don't okay. know. I think the road can Yeah, okay. let the, the manager hand up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll make a motion to have Mr. Ains um, handle the communication with Carrie Lane about their culvert and getting it um, support replaced. Okay, motion by Chalkley, support by Bellinger. All in favor say aye. 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 Say that again. I made a motion. I made a motion to have Mr. Ains take, uh, communicate with uh, the Carrie Lane homeowners about getting their um, culvert replaced. We have like a date. Um, yeah. Well, how about uh, within the next thirty days? Villager. What would that entail? Okay. All in favor, say aye. Mr. Dockett oh, had a question. Oh, go ahead, Mr. Dockett. What, what would that entail? What you're asking him to do? He, he, need, he needs to. He needs to figure out how we're going to get that culvert replaced. Oh, yes. By talking to the homeowners and uh, wa working with the road commission. Who's responsible? Who's it? responsible? Mr. Are they, they, I know, I mean, of the culvert. Is there a, 
Sir, are they in a drain district? Uh, what? Did they pay into a drain district? Where? This is. This it's a, is. It's I a don't private know. road. It's a private road. It goes under the end of their. Well, road. why should we be paying? We shouldn't We're be not. paying. We're not paying. Right. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got your back, Mr. Docket. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Goals and priorities. Uh, I don't think no. we voted. Oh, did, oh yeah, did we vote? No. Okay, no, we did all not. in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No, thank you, 7-0. Sorry about that. Well, okay. The goals and priorities, at the last meeting, the board had suggested that you provide uh, comments on those. And I did get two board members gave me comments, but Basically, they entailed taking this complicated chart and kind of throwing it out and picking a few, I think each of them gave me three goals. So maybe there's four, five, six all together. Uh, but that would be my recommendation too, that you, you narrow down the number of goals, you then tell me how to, you know, what you want to accomplish, and then I start working on how you fun parts of it, how you put a timetable together, uh, what sort of legal action might be needed to accomplish them, what kind of marketing plan, uh, however you want me to go with that. But if you do identify those broader issues, I think that would work. And on your chart before, there was actually several that could have been a big goal with several sub <coughs> aspects to it, um, as opposed to having you know, so many separate goals. to do with this, Mr. Ains. I'm lost. Well, at this point, uh, you know, I have six goals that have been identified by board members. Right. And what I'm referring to, though, is that I don't have the feedback from others, but I think the pr way to proceed would be for me to distribute those six <coughs> goals to the board and then that might be a basis for other ones to come up with, you know, either different goals or variations on those. But I think what I'm, I'm referring to is the goals that were adopted about a year ago, there was no commitment that there were four votes by the board to proceed with all those items. And a number of them weren't even listed as priorities got no points at all when you did your voting tally. And then a number of those were accomplished, and so they shouldn't need to be on. And then there's goals that are ongoing that you'll never see a, a conclusion because they're part of the normal routine operation of the township, like setting the, the, uh, the amount of fund balance. That's something you look at every year, and you're actually looking at every meeting. Um, but there's some of these that can't be accomplished unless there's a monetary amount applied to that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, without knowing exactly which goals you want to go, then I don't know how to evaluate or come back to you. So I think it's a, a series of things, but you are dealing with the fact that the budget is before you now. It does need to be adopted over this meeting and the next one but it can always be amended. And so if you identify goals and identify how to proceed, what I would recommend based on my experience or based on the amount of money, uh, and you say, yes, there's something we really want to do, but we didn't budget for it, you can always amend the budget. Sure. Or if there's areas that we put in the budget that uh, you at a later point decide or we through investigation, conclude we don't need as much as what you budgeted, 
then it can be reallocated as well. So I have a question. I mean, we've talked about this at the meetings many times. So, Ms. Drains, what are the top five things you're working on? Like, what, what have you, you know, looking at this document, I mean, can you identify the t top five things or the top? I think Ms. Trick has used three. Can you identify, like, the three top things you're working on? Well, obviously right now, because of the timetable, it's the, uh, the budget process. If you don't have money, you can't accomplish very much. The second one is the North Village project, which you've identified a potential user, a developer, uh, through the RFQ process. I've also mentioned to the board there's another potential one, but it's not to the point of making it public. And the committee met today to go over kind of ground rules as to how to proceed. And so to me, that's a high priority. It's a major investment you've made in terms of money and time and energy. And, and if you get somebody going in there that accomplishes your goals, I think it would be a big boost to the community. And in spite of some opposition to it, the, uh, I still think, as I've recommended for two years now, that the retention tank is something to look at. Now, all you've approved to date is that we take the first little baby step. And so the next step is me coming back to you with a request for qualifications um, because it seemed like the board wanted to at least consider more than one engineering group. Um, but I want to make sure if I go into that that you've bought into the process because if I go out and get an RFQs from different people and then I bring them back and it's not what you really wanted, and then that's a loss of energy and time and so forth too. But uh, so, you know, that's an area where there's definitely, in my opinion, reflected by the engineer, reflected by the operator of the plant, that there is that need. And, uh, you know, it's interesting the dollar amounts that get thrown around, and maybe some people won't take kindly to this, but. Uh, my church is looking at a $3 million expansion project, and it's only got 1,000 members, but they've accomplished it because it's something that the people have bought into. And the question here is, do you have enough people buying into it that the board feels comfortable moving ahead? And if you don't, you can call it quits at any point. But if you know up front you're going to, there's no reason to spend the 200000 but I think you can start the process, which a much smaller part of that, and bring those back at each step. And if you decide you don't want to proceed, that's fine. But um, you at least, I think, need to, to proceed. And then <clears throat> they tie into the whole economic development stability. Um, I think your downtown has been identified as a high priority and the North Village project and the downtown both tie together a lot, to, in my view. And I think you've identified that through your uh, prior studies for the downtown, for the North Village. So those are the kind of things that I'm working on. But in the meantime, I'm working on the building department evaluation, which I know I promised by today, but I've told you I'll have by the next meeting. And. Uh, and there's a number of other things that are ongoing. I, hopefully that helps some. Thank you. So, in, I mean, I've said this, communication. I mean, we, I think, have to have a good communication to our residents and even amongst our, um, amongst the board members. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to see, you know, something a little bit more with the website, making sure our board packages are complete and just that we have good process and procedures so that things are getting done. I do have a meeting next week with your current website provider. They had indicated they could do additional work for you, but I don't know what they have in mind exactly or what price. And then I'll bring that back to you as well. Great. Okay. Mr. Dockett. Um, it kind of fits in with what we're doing here. Is there any work on 75 Barker? Any, 
Andrews any? Anybody? Local? Yes, I had received Friday and I sent out to the board by email. I don't know if that got copied to you yet. There is a proposal pending. Your attorney had advised that it does need to come back to the board for either rejection or acceptance, that we should have the commercial realtor here to explain his perspective on it and the value offered and so forth. When, sir? When will that be? That would be at the next board meeting. Okay. The reason I'm asking is because if we're looking for money, we, we might have a, a windfall. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So that's why I ask it. Yes. The, the realtor also contacted me to get the key to the building because they've got another party that they assure me is a different party well, that we'll they're going to show it to tomorrow. And then please, please keep us informed. Yes, I'm trying because to. Because I'm very interested about that. And in addition, there's another party that's interested that has asked me about a, a list of architects or engineers, and typically you don't recommend anyone that way. But on your Planning Commission website, there's a list of those that have worked with the Planning Commission the township before, and I've referred them to them so that they want to have a something they can bring back and present. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome, okay. sir. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't Next steps? Next steps, yeah. What, what do you want us to do, Mr. D Mr. Ains? Well, I'll get out to you this week the, uh, the six goals that have been identified by some board members. I'll add to it, and then I'd like to get feedback from you. And if you tell me something's not worth dealing with or we're not got the money for or whatever, you know, then that's fine. Okay. But I think that needs to be resolved fairly soon in the coming budget year. Can you send this out tomorrow or the next day? It'd be Thursday. I have okay. another commitment tomorrow. Okay. So we'll expect something from Mr. Ains on Thursday and wh when, and we should return I our thoughts to you by... I'd like it by Monday, Monday to give you the weekend to consider. Okay. When's your vacation, sir? When is your vacation? I had asked for a week in July, third, uh, second week of July, I believe it is. And we got a little time. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and then I had asked for a couple of days in August, but. I was waiting to see if you re extended the agreement, because if you didn't, I'd have all kinds of time off in August, so. Okay. You're stuck with us. And you're stuck with yeah. me. Yeah. So there, that's all you need from us tonight? Yes. This? Okay. Number eight is a discussion on uh, the fiscal budget. year budget, potential yep. amendments. On the budget, um, last year we talked to the board at to the June meetings, and the board indicated that even though that had been past practice, that didn't give you enough time to examine the budget. This year, as we've been stressing, the board had asked for it in advance, so we've had it before you for April, May, and June now, so you've had a total of six regular meetings that could be discussed in one special meeting you held. Um, at this point, you've had the public hearing. We're recommending that you um, go forward with something final if you want to do a few minor things, but basically to get it approved at the next board meeting in two weeks. And then, as I said, it's easy enough to amend if there's something that uh, has been overlooked or we need more investigation on. But at the meetings, the last two years, 218, 217, um, I looked back and the controller was not available or didn't attend those meetings. And I had her attend last meeting to go through the detail with you. And then I tried to focus on the goals and the, uh, the uh, capital improvements. And as I've 
put in my summary for this meeting. Um, I've had the same thing done except in writing. I had her go through and look at what changed from last year and highlight those items so that you could see. Um, but the major changes are the capital improvement fund. Those are the big ticket items. And uh, one of those by error I uh, put down as a next year project and that's the roof on the community center. It got done quicker than we anticipated. So that would be an adjustment next week out of the, this year's budget, and it'd be reduction out of next. Did that come in under budget? Yes, it did. So it wasn't quite the 14,000 the board approved. It was something under that. Good deal. And, and I think it looks good, and the inspector said it looked good from his standpoint. The. Uh, the items that I've listed under general fund, we had identified sources money, uh, the road work we've just discussed, the uh, six mile culvert is a prior project that you're paying on over time. The walker drain is another project you did that's payable over time. The park improvements for North Village are intended to give you some seed money if you need it to plan for some of the public amenities at that location. And if you don't need to, it can be uh, allocated elsewhere. I mentioned the roof and the land acquisition proposed uh, is the ongoing process the board has been undergoing as lots behind this building come up for tax sale. That you've been accumulating those for a future park that's identified in your park and recreation plan. But I don't know that you'll be spending that much. Um, Ms. Um, Ms. Otto? At one time, we, for the land acquisition behind uh, the public safety building, we did have, um, we did request to have, I think, Parks and Rec, I'm not sure, and I don't know how long ago this was, to send out letters to the property owners to see if they would want to donate those properties. Yeah. Did we get any response? They, they had, I don't believe they've done that. I don't no. I, I brought it up at one of their meetings. We were going to do it. There's a draft letter, but we have not done that. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be happy to do that. I wasn't aware that yeah. was a, an option. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that'd be great. Because they could take it as a, as a write-off if they weren't oh. going to pay property tax on them. Sure. Yeah, I, I didn't know about that. Yeah. We did have a gentleman come in a while back and wanted to know how he could drive to his property. Oh. And we told him to take <laughs> a boat. Did you tell him very carefully? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Dockett. Oh, come up. Okay. Um, Why we're talking about it, I don't believe we should buy anything. And nor should we like. My opinion. I mean, they have an association. Okay. It'll, it'll never, it'll never have anything to do with the township because it's all owned by the association. So okay. that's my opinion. Okay, Miss Miss Be Miss Belliger, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, my question was on the ten thousand. Did we already have a f figure come back from, I guess, the county or or the state on how much this year we may be needing mm -hmm. if we do purchase? We have a letter, and I don't recall the amount. I didn't think it was point. quite that much, but I don't know yeah. if anybody knew. And then I, I, I want to second yeah. what he said as well as about the Horseshoe Lake. Like, be nice to get those back to Horseshoe Lake, those pieces that we do have. Yeah. Ms. Chick? Yeah, I did comment at a previous board meeting that one of the members of the Horseshoe Lake had said that if any of those properties come up on the tax rolls or they for sale, them. that they want to have first chance at them. So let them have that. We need to notify them that they're available before we consider buying anything there. Well, they'll have to pay for them. Yeah. Um, when do they have their meetings? First something of the month, right? Yeah, and, okay. and the other thought is because we do own property there, mm -hmm. there was question as should we, the township, be paying the association dues mm -hmm. for those properties that we own? Right. We own a lot, too, yeah. a lot. There's the other consideration. If you pay on the dues, do you have voting rights on the mm. association? Yeah, exactly. 
And then the whole township has access. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not good. Questions. Give them, give them away. We don't need them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, eleven thousand. Okay. Eleven thousand dollars. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're all horses. No. Four yes. of them are in the uh, summer homes. Yeah. But those aren't. Yeah, it's not broken out. Though. Well, what's eleven thousand? Right. The total for no, this year? Yeah. It's not. That's the minimum the bids on all the township properties going up for auction. Yeah, but d in your report, you said that you you said that it was returned back that we weren't going to do any of them, and usually the board determines. Which one? These were in your report. You yeah. said in the supervisor's report, you said yeah. the assessor believes that the three parcels and others in the same area are not for public person, right. public purpose. So the parcels required wetland areas were returned. To tax roll. He put them all back on the tax roll. I disagree. And I've had. And really, comments. that's really up to the board. Isn't it up to the board? No. No, it's up to the assessor. No. I mean, if we're going to purchase them mm -hmm. and everything, but he put them on the tax. These were properties we already owned. We already own, yeah. And he put them on the tax roll. He no, I was talking about if there were any that needed to be purchased. Oh, some no, of them we should be selling. <coughs> You know, not the not okay. the Horseshoe Lake ones. But. Okay. He put some of the lots that the township owns back on the tax back roll. on the tax roll. No, he did. That's not right. Yeah. Right, and so that's why part of my report at the end is I want Paul. Well, I couldn't understand it. Yeah, it's to to actually give us the the straight scoop on this. So I'm going to make a motion at when my report comes up to, to do that. So anyway, continue with the budget, I guess, here. Yes. Okay. So the second category is the public service building. And this is a designated fund from the lease of space on the second floor. And what the uh, board had indicated is those monies should be dedicated to the maintenance of this property in the building. We had mentioned about doing concrete work at the safety building, Township Hall. We also had talked about evaluating and improving the heating and air conditioning system. And um, we did go back and look at this with the, uh, the treasurer and, and the controller, and we are slightly over the projection. So as I put here, my recommendation is on the heating and air conditioning that you drop that down. Uh, Take the forty thousand minus the seven four six zero, so you don't have a deficit budget in that area. But uh, again, these things may be adjusting depending on what the results are of it. And I have gotten two concrete bids, and they're quite diverse. And we've got another one we're expecting, uh, but we're thinking that what we need to do is identify with the chief and what the minimum amount would be to be safe and address issues first before we go to everything that has a need to fix. Ms. Chick. Uh, so I don't think the board has actually seen where all this concrete work needs to be done. I mean, we've heard that it needs to be done, but where? Is I walked around and saw the... There's around a lot of this little... Building. Yeah. yeah. It's all in yeah. this property here and that's where the money was designated by the board. So uh, there are properties that the first time with the first contractor, the chief and I and Jennifer walked with the contractor. Second time, uh, Tom and I walked it. But, uh, and then I've had uh, uh, Dan Willis take a look at one of the catch basins, two of the catch basins to see if they needed work out front here at the fire station. So, you know, they're kind of work in progress. So uh, what I was going to do with the chief now is to identify them with orange paint and then uh, have the contractors give me a replot price based on what specifically is outlined. But it falls into a couple different categories. One is the uh, approach to this building on the front side towards Main Street. Uh, there's a number of potential trip hazards there. Uh, in the rear, there's some settling and different things that deal with the entryways to the fire station off of the back part. And this is for individual person doors. Uh, the chief has also talked about there's a 
section that's highly broke up on the north end that's concrete around a manhole, but it also ties into the garbage storage area and we'd like to ramp it. Right now it's a curb situation so we can only use the roller carts, but we'd like to get into having a, an actual dumpster for that purpose. And then the two catch basins are out front here of the fire station and my concern was since both catch basins had a lot of cracking around them, were they stable enough to uh, bear the weight of the trucks? And uh, so that the one Dan felt was fine, it just was an appearance issue. The other one he thought was substantive. Ms. Bellinger. Do we need, can we make a motion to reduce this one tonight, the public safety that you recommend, reduced by maybe 7,500? Is this something that we need to do or should do? Yeah. Okay, I, I would like do to do it. that. I would move to re reduce the heating and air conditioning improvement study by $7,500 in the public safety uh, rental fund, the allocation yeah. for the budget. Okay. Support. Okay, motion by Bellager, support by Zelnock. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No. Okay. Um, that passes 6 1. Docket. No. Okay. And just one final comment on this. The rental funds over five years, which is the lease, should generate about $100,000 um, a net effect. And again, the intent is to do maintenance on the building and grounds. So this actually saves the general fund, the fire fund, and the police fund from subsidizing those kind of improvements. Going on to the wastewater plant, we've already talked about professional services on the retention tank. The aeration system was what was requested to be designed by the board, uh, approved tonight. And then there's a variety of other improvements that have been identified by Dan. And if the board wants, I can give you those at a future date. But those are all funded out of the wastewater fund. So all these are cash, they're not borrowing. They're trying to live within your means, but take care of what you need to do at this time, in our opinion. With that, I would recommend that the board go ahead and uh, uh, move to uh, place the, the budget on the uh, agenda for final action next time, unless there's issues that you have questions or concerns about. Ms. Selnock. So one thing we have to add is um, um, $20,000 more to the elections. On page six. So right now, it, I believe it's just showing the election specialist at 28,000. Mm -hmm. And the base estimates of the 22 election workers slash four elections of 20,000 is missing. So that'll bring the total up to 48,000. And the bottom line up to 66,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You say page six? Yep. Page six, yep. Yeah. Under salaries? Yes. Okay. Can you have the numbers one more time? Yeah. For me, um, right now it's at 28,000. It is really just showing the election specialists and the 22 elec uh, election workers and four election amount is missing, which is another 20,000. So that'll bring that up to 48,000 and the bottom line up to 66,000. Mm -hmm. 692. I saw Ms. Chick's hand up first, but I'll take yours since it's still up. No. <laughs> Ms. Otto, go ahead. Well, I just wanted to remind, um, remind us that we have to include uh, the correction that um, Chief Wagner yeah. recommended. Correction. 
It was to 20, change. 20,000 from 207, move oh, it yes. to 266. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. For the sale of the vehicles. Yeah. And uh, where is that in here? Do you know? It's Not fun. fun. We'll, we'll, find we'll find it. Yeah, I mean, I just think you yeah. can just move it. Yeah, I don't but I wanted to make yeah. it noted sure. yeah. that we, uh, I knew about it. Sure. Yeah. He told us the numbers, so. Yeah, anyway, he did. Yeah. I see it. Okay. And then 207 to 266. Right, yeah. 20,000 for the yep. sale of the asset. 20,000. Yep. So, I mean, my thought, though, is part of me should, you know, we should take out the 20 grand for the park improvements until we know what they are. Yeah, that's, that's why my hand was up. Oh. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, certainly, yeah. I mean, if you look at our fund balance, we better take that off as a we goal. Because we don't even know if we'll need it. Right. But, right. Yeah. And then um, the land acquisition for the proposed park behind the safety building, are any of those properties within that 10,000 Horseshoe Lake properties? Yes. Okay. Um, so it's the price of ten thousand on these lots. No, 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 just no. in no, no. Just th that we're allocating that because there's multiple lots that it could be. I think last year we spent around eight thousand. Mm, eighty-three. Yeah, yeah. eighty-three or three. So uh -huh. yeah. Okay. That's around eight thousand. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so do we need a motion to remove the uh, park improvements? Yes. Okay, well, I okay. move to remove the park improvements for North Village at this time, the $20,000. Okay. Support. Motion by Bellager, support by Zelnock. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Thank you, that passes 7 0. Um, one item I noticed in here I know we like our code enforcement officer. <laughs> Uh, but we did increase his hours to. Um, what page are you on? I, I know we did, I, but I, what I didn't page pull is it is? out specifically. I was looking at what was given to us by um, Miss um, Patrick. So uh, code enforcement is on page three of nine in. And it's the on paperwork. page twelve in the detail. Is it? Oh, good. Thank you. Almost about fourth yeah. from the bottom. Yeah. Fifth. Page 12. Okay, page 12, yeah. Which had increased his um, significantly, you know, like $19,760 because we were taking him from 20 hours to 30. And he, he himself says he doesn't think there's that enough work to do 30 hours. So... Maybe we cut it back to to 25 or something. Um, I'd support I, that. And then if if it becomes more important, you know, and that we have more later, we could always increase it. But um, I, th what do you think? I thought the um, uh, the motion was up to 30 hours. Is that he's not required to do 30 right. hours? Right. He, that's true. But what? But, 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 but we had the budget the budget for it. because so. you put the money in the budget for the worst case. Yeah. Yeah. So what if we cut it in half? At least. I like 35. What? 25? Oh, 20. You get 30. 30. Oh, 30. Cut him, cut him oh, referring to hours? No, I would, no, 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 no. So he's at 30 hours, he's and he, he works 20 regularly. That's what right. the budget, I'm saying, maybe right. do 25 oh, hours, yeah. oh. and then cut right. the 19,760 would be, you know, half Just of that. Half. And then, obviously, the Social Security goes along with it. Yeah. So maybe just do 25 hours, so it gives another 10 grand into the budget. Right, so it'd be a $30,000 instead yeah. of forty. And then if there's 000. more needed, we could do that or adjust yeah. it as we go. Yeah. I support or move to uh, amend his hours of 25 hours, Max. Okay. So, so, so brings it down to thirty-two fifty. Um, I was thinking it would only take it down to... If oh, you're 30,000. So we're doing 25 times. If you're 25 doing 25 hours. hours. Yeah, go ahead and calculate 25 it out. And times 25. It. Yeah, times 90. 52 weeks. Okay. Well, 325. Yeah, 325. Okay, 325. You don't want to shortcut them. 
The motion is to reduce the hours for code enforcement from 30 down to 25. Up to. Yeah, up to 25. Up to. Yes, that's correct. Up to. Up to. Well, up yeah, to. I guess it's up from 20 to 25. Yeah. But up to no, but, hours. Okay, but that doesn't mean he has to work that yeah, many hours. Up to 25 up to, hours. Right, okay, up to 25 hours. Right. That's what. Because yeah. if he wants to only work 20, he works okay. 20. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, You're not forcing him to work hours that he doesn't necessarily need to work. Exactly. Yeah. He knows better than we do. That's correct. Okay, so who seconded Ms. Bellager's? Um, I'll second. Oh, okay, Ms. Zelnock seconded it. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you. That I passes. Think, you know, just in general, again, what we need to look at is our building department, right? because next year we need to look at our fees because it'll be running a deficit pretty much. Right. So yeah. that needs to be a priority to at least look on. Fee schedule. That was yeah. one of my goals. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what the uh, study on the building yeah. okay. et cetera oh, that's is okay. leading Excellent. up to. Okay. And Very then good. I also again talked to Paul Lippens today about the fees and what they might need to adjust to if we um, were to do something. And probably you should get into a moderate increase per year as opposed to flat and then up and so forth. Well, I had a couple questions. Oh, okay, um, Mr. Dockett. Uh, but if we gave it to the county, we would have uh, six thousand one hundred and sixty nine dollars because the county would do it for free. We would be getting all this money that we don't need to spend. Let mm -hmm. the county do it. Mm -hmm. That's part of what the controller is working for me on about uh, comparing the yeah, cost of revenues was, and expenditures under both but options. It, but it should. Questions? Oh, go ahead, Ms. Belger. Um, one might be a simple answer. I'm just curious on page uh, 12 that we were just on. Why is it 40% under the very second, uh, well, I guess it's the first line, zoning and salaries? 40% of building planning zoning mm -hmm. salary? Why is it 40%? I guess I don't need a long answer. Maybe it's divided and the 60% is somewhere yeah. else. I'm not really yeah. sure mm -hmm. what that means. That's Mary's position. Yeah. Yeah. And it's allocated to different um so her her time is like partially yeah. she's paid from this account and that account combined right. okay the next, next question would be on 13 uh the road funding is are we going to have to adjust these numbers in here or is this something that that's going to um, do since we just no. approved that uh right the, that this had the forty thousand in it okay so because i did notice it appears as though we have um a little less allocated to the roads than we did in 1819. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We did, um, so it's up to the board if they want to increase that. We had the paths and the sidewalks last year, which you know, also contributed to the 192,000. Um, and then if you, you see the, um, the budget, the $49,113 uh, under the 1819 amended yes. budget, and then under the 1920, it shows 28,000. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the way we did our contract this year. They took our, our um, that road work is brining. And so it's really about $55,000. And they took our match and applied it to that. that year. Yeah, so that's why it looks like it's so much cheaper. I see. Um, so the other part of the 55 match is actually the 20, was it 2,800, 28,000, I mean? Yeah, is that kind about of? 27 was applied to our road improvements. When last time it was, um, all of it was applied to the road improvements. Okay, I think I know what you're saying. Yeah. It's split between, mm -hmm. you're trying to say it's split between the years or something? Or something? Yeah. It, it's just divided up differently. Um, but it's true that we're about ten thousand dollars less for uh, roads next year. 
So, and I, I would like to see, you know, obviously more. Yeah. Um, the following year is going to be a lot better. We're going to be done paying for the six mile culvert. We're going to be done with the Walker drain. So, you know, a lot of that money, $51,000 of what we've allocated this year is going to pay those bills that we incurred when the six mile culvert went out and when we got the Walker. Well, I understand fixed. that part, but some of the questions, I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm going to 1819, the amended budget, I guess. Okay. We had a bit more uh, allocated there than we do here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why there's a 49,000 for the road work on that, but yet mm -hmm. 28 there. Right. Nine motorized path. Mm -hmm. Last year, the, all, the entire cost of the brining was $49,113. This year, the entire cost of the brining is 55,000 and something. Okay. This year. And what the road commission did, you know, we're getting a match from the road commission for regular stuff for about $54,000. They took the match, the $54,000, which last year we applied to the road improvements, they took the match and applied it half to the okay, brining. Okay, so that's why that number is less. That's why it looks funny. Uh, okay, you I know, think it makes sense to me now. We could change that so it doesn't look funny, but... Um, so the match of some of it went from the brining and maybe less of it's going to come because it's the same about $55,000. Yeah, it's all in the same, yeah. you know, and amount. So I had a couple other questions on here, but I can wait to let other people ask questions. Well, you we okay, took care of the anybody? one. I think we already took care of the ones, the questions I had on this other form. Okay. Anybody else have um, questions here? Is every is there anyone interest everyone interested in taking a look at Chief Wagner's um, salary? Tonight. Not tonight. Nope, not Maybe tonight. coming up. Okay. We can always amend the budget. All right. Let's do that. So, I any more questions some. on the budget? I would certainly entertain uh, uh, some form of uh, additional compensation for Chief Wagner, yeah. but yeah. as to when, I don't know. I would too. I agree. Okay. Not okay. me. So, um, I, does anyone want to know what our millage rates are for next year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, our general fund millage rate is 0.7756. This is what the, um, this budget is uh, planned on. So 0.7756 gets us, or gets the township, uh, $286,701. That's what our general fund millage brings in. Okay, that's $286, And what do we expect to get from state I mean, revenue sharing? $286,701. Then we get the state revenue sharing. In, uh, and that's expected match. to be about seven hundred to 80000 or something? Um, that's on the first page of the budget. So you can, you can see, yeah, seven hundred oh, and yeah. forty-seven thousand three hundred ninety-six. Okay. So thankfully, that's a per capita um, payment from the state. And the other one, you know, the property tax is just based on property. Okay, and then our uh, police millage will be 4.3664, and that millage is expiring in 2020. So we'll, we'll need to put another uh, a renewal or something on the ballot coming up. Um, fire and medical rescue is 1.9675. That one expires in 2021. So, um, and then we have our building <coughs> bond debt, which will finally get paid off in 2021. And that one is 0.7618. So the township total, um, in total levies 7.8713. So when the, the so, so can we get a copy of that? Just, oh, the public, sorry. 
when well, the public excuse, safety building excuse me yeah, yeah sorry. miss chick started first <laughs> go ahead miss chick um what how much revenue does that our expense do we don't have to look at anymore it's 87, <laughs> oh when it goes yeah i don't know we'd have to figure it out um, oh when that goes away it's about the same as our general fund so about two hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year yeah okay but that means our residents aren't paying that they aren't the residents aren't paying that yes right, right. Mm -hmm. so and as we know that millage rate all these millages come in the winter taxes not the summer taxes correct yeah for the township yep okay can we get a copy of this oh yes you can have this one i'll get more yeah. yeah i think we'd all like a copy please sure um yeah we can get it emailed to the entire board i had to ask for it today too i didn't have it myself okay um all right are we done with the the budget ready to move to the report okay. the uh, yes. open bills yep yeah. um, i'll make a motion to approve the payment of the open bills with the expected check run date of 6 12 19 for a total of ninety eight thousand nine hundred ninety one dollars and ninety six cents from all funds in the municipal investment fund account support motion by chalkley support by Belliger. any discussion all in favor say aye aye, aye. anyone opposed thank you it passes seven zero um, i'll make a motion to accept the check disbursement report for the paid bills the check date was from 5-10-19 to 6-6-19 for a total of $288,157.15 from all funds in the Municipal Investment Fund account. A support. Motion by Chalkley, support by Otto. I had a question. Any discussion on this? I did have a question. Okay, I probably ahead. should have, could have asked uh, Dan. I didn't think of it then. Okay. On page number 11, um, we have a... Um, Maybe this is for the, this is public safety building fund, so I'm not sure. We have a um, sewer bill for like one REU, yep. but I thought that we were on a metered. So I was just kind of, just, I wasn't sure sewer bill. where this is. Mm -hmm. I thought we had a metered. Um, we do have a meter, mm -hmm. and then we do charge one REU to the uh, tenant. Okay. Okay. So this. So this bill was paid by whom? We paid one REU to? Oh. The one REU is billed to the tenant. Billed to the tenant, okay. So. I'd like to have that checked out. I'm so confused, is this a check that's, that's on that? Or right. or this, is this a copy of checks we that's put out? Not, that's right. not right. Mm -hmm. So Ms. Drains, just a little bit further on that, so um we pay it but we're billing them and getting reimbursed is that how it works yes okay okay, okay so that's yeah. why we have the bill then yeah okay. it, it's similar to your heating air conditioning and so on by the contract they pay a certain percentage based on their square footage in this case and there wasn't a way to do that so we put it at one reu and then we have the meter for the amount. So if you recall when that went in, the number of REUs charged to the building went down substantially. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. Okay. That was my question. Okay, um, and we didn't vote on it yet, so all in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Yes. Okay, thank you. I, I think there's... I, I think like Wayne may like be opposed. Wayne. I'd like to make sure about this. You had, you need because it looks to me like the township's paying. Who wants to make sure that the, um, just the, that we get reimbursed? Yeah, where do we find uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. Mr. 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 Manager? can check that I out can, for you. I can give the board a report on yes. where, okay. where, 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 where we're getting that back. Okay. Um, okay. I'd like to make a motion to accept the consent agenda. No support. Motion by Chuckley, support by Otto. Any discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you, that passes. Um, and then there's the trustee liaison reports. I'll make a motion, well, I wanna pull mine out, but I wanna make a motion to accept the trustee liaison reports. 
Support. Um, okay, motion by Chalkley, support by Belliger. Any discussion? Okay, Chalkley, Belliger. All in favor say aye. 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 Hold on a second. Aye. But you're gonna, yeah. I'm gonna talk about mine. Yeah, yeah. the supervisors has been pulled out. I want my pulled out, so. There. Yeah. Okay, so I thought you were passing. Well, we passed it. I'm not gonna change any words here, but I do wanna make a motion based on this. So, did you have a question about it, Mr. Dockett? Yes, I don't understand it. Can you talk louder? No, my voice is about gone. I'm going to end the meeting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to? No, the, the last paragraph. The last part, the last paragraph, right? You want to talk about the last one, right? Okay. Yep, okay. It's about the, the county treasurer, mm -hmm. Catherine McCleary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had a question. Um, it says, County Treasurer Catherine mm -hmm. McCleary has provided us with some legislative references that may indicate otherwise. Mm -hmm. I request that the board direct the attorney to determine absolutely the status of the parcels owned by the township. Okay. So he would like some clarification on what this is about, what evidently. Okay. Or what is the information? That's what I was going to ask. Is um, what information was provided? She gave us uh, some MCL blah 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 references. Um, you know, on uh, it's it's whether you can assess something or not assess something, and um, I have the numbers written down. Uh, but she says that if we purchase property for a public purpose, then it is not taxable. And the, ta and the assessor has just recently, you know, he, he doesn't put the park properties on the um, assessment rules, but he put all of the Horseshoe Lake parcels on, all of that wetland, he put it back on the tax rolls so that the township will begin to have to pay taxes to everybody who gets taxes. Um, and we can't afford to keep land like that if we're gonna have to pay taxes on it. So I, I told Catherine that about the, Catherine McCleary, about the parcels that she's now offering us that are going into foreclosure. I said, the only ones that we would possibly be interested in are these four in the park back here if the other ones are going to be on the tax rolls. We're not gonna want them. So she called me up and said, well, but, but they're not. They shouldn't be on the tax rolls. And she had another uh, legal citation that their attorney at the county um, uses on it. So we're I, we just need to get this all straightened out. And, mm -hmm. and Mr. Burns can look up the uh, Okay. the legislation and tell us whether it should be or shouldn't be on the well, tax rolls. Doesn't the assessor feel that his action was appropriate? I mean, where is the he disconnect? Okay. Yeah, no, he was looking at a different MCL reference and Catherine had this other one that she gave us. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ains, you have something to share about it? Yes, when the assessor and I talked about all of our properties, mm -hmm. the properties out back here, he said were fine as far as being tax exempt because they were in your park plan, yeah. mm -hmm. your master plan as a park. Mm -hmm. But from his viewpoint, the ones around Horseshoe Lake were not part of that master plan and he couldn't see where you had identified them for a specific purpose uh, that would be a public purpose. And therefore he felt like they had to go back or go on to the tax rule. Mm -hmm. So that would be the question, you know, is he interpreting it right or right. is there something else? Correct. And I guess he was part of that conversation, he said, mm -hmm. between you and the treasurer. Right. We, we had a three-way conversation on that. And um, so the, with the county treasurer and Tom mm -hmm. Onchek and me, so um, I just would like Paul Burns to let us know for sure what should be on the tax rolls and what shouldn't be on the tax rolls. Okay. okay. So is that a motion? Yes. So what's the motion? The motion is to direct um, the township attorney to determine absolutely the status of the parcels owned by the township 
in the Horseshoe Lake area, or whether, uh, you know, what's a public purpose? No, no, that's just, know. no. All don't right, whether those parcels should be on. Yeah, okay. let's just yeah. keep it simple. Don't keep it the simple. Okay. I'll support that. Okay. Motion by Chalkway, support by Zelna. Mr. Dockett has a question. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Dockett. Well, why would we be responsible for paying for the lots in Horseshoe Lake Association? Why would the, the township? Because they, they have an association. So why would we? Why would the township have to pay? Can we sell them? I don't know. Can we get rid of them? We, I want to get rid of them like yesterday. Well, who wants to buy wetland? <laughs> All it is is wetland. It sounds like we're stuck. Yeah. How, how can we get rid of it? Well, we, we yeah. should never pay a penny. Let them go back. Who cares? But they shouldn't be on our these were These were properties that were um, like la we were last resort, and we had to take them. Yeah. Well, now we're going to pay taxes on them? That seems absurd. I agree. So we're going to find out. Why our phone was underwater. Okay. That's right. There's no roads. So we are, okay. Um, yeah. We are going to find out about th whether we, they're taxable or not. Okay. okay yeah. Next. And we have a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Yes. Aye. Aye. No. Okay. So Mr. Dockett is opposed. Six. One. Okay. Um, call to the public. Call okay. The public. Uh, we have, now is an opportunity for call to the public. What was that? Hold on. What? Did we uh, didn't vote to accept the consent? We didn't yes, we did. uh, vote to accept your report, though. Well, I okay. As it was part, part of, of the consent agenda. I just wanted to talk oh, about it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, we did vote seven zero for the uh, trustee liaison reports. Except the supervisor reports, right? Or, okay. Well, no. no with that. We voted okay, for them all. Yeah. I just all right. wanted right. to talk got about it. it. Okay. Confusing. Sorry. Okay, second call of the public. Anybody who would like to address us, um, please keep your comments to three minutes. Feel free to come up and um, turn on the microphone, state your name and your address, and hold it up to your mouth so that TV land can hear you. And uh, welcome. Again. Still David Gordon on Helena Road. Um, tonight we had more evidence again from Mr. Willis that the plant is handling this historic flows that we've had. I know that on my property it's wetter than I've ever seen it in 40 years. Um, and it's really cool that he's using the existing equipment. So that was, that was good information. Um, Mr. Raines mentioned that this uh, retention holding tank is recommended by the engineer. But uh, my question is, how much do they make on this? Because I think they just got a $200,000 contract for the engineering, but then there's the actual construction of the tank overseeing that, plus the expansion of the two lines that are being talked about, the, the trunks that are being talked about expanding. <laughs> it's not surprising that he recommends it. You don't want to ask the fox for a plan to protect the chicken coop and pay him whatever he wants. I mean, he's going he's gonna to take you to the cleaners. And lastly, uh, I think what Mr. Ains said should be taken to heart when he talked about how his church of 1,000 congregants is considering a $3 million expansion. What he did talk about also was the community buy-in. What I don't think we have here is a community buy-in for 7 or $8 million in sewer expenses. As a matter of fact, I doubt that the church elders went out and spent $75,000 on plans to expand without first informing the congregants that they were thinking about a $3 million expansion. And that's what the $200,000 here is about. You're spending $200,000 of the sewer customer's money that's only valuable if you put, out, put in the $5 million tank. Without the tank, it's a $200,000 waste. So um, I think you need to get your community buy-in before you go spend this money. I guarantee you there's 2,500 members or, or customers that are sewer customers. They, have not been, they are not aware of the fact that you guys are planning on hitting them with an increase that's going to take their bill from $360 uh, a year to over $500. Um, I think it's your responsibility to, 
to reach out to them and let them know if that's your plan. If they're in favor of it, cool. I don't think they, I don't think they will be. And I think that's why you're hesitant to spend the money to go out and, and uh, let them know. But I believe it's your responsibility. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, anyone else at this time like to speak to the board? Okay, seeing no one, board member comments. I have a Bell comment and question, just kind of a follow up on the Bark Park rules. So um, I want to thank the board for now that uh, we passed, you know, a measure to actually have some uh, enforceable ordinances that, or rules at the Bark Park. Um, can, is there just a quick synopsis on now what happens for those that are curious about when enforcement's going to begin to occur when uh, violators are found there at the Bark Park with multiple dogs and whatnot? Is there any answer or any, uh, any way we can, I can, I can let the public know when these, when we can start enforcing this? I don't know who can answer, but if anybody here knows the answer to this question. Uh, so generally the rules have to be completed. Jennifer is working on them to conform to the ordinance. Um, then they have to be posted um, on the Bark Park facility. Okay. And then Mr. Turner can start writing civil infractions. Is there anything, there's no other delays other than those? That's it. Okay, great. Uh, there's 30 days afterwards. That's well, the ordinance tonight that got adopted has to be published before it goes into effect. <coughs> Now, also, can our um, officers enforce some of these rules or write citations? Yeah. Um, I believe we would have the code enforcement officer do it as a civil infraction. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But the but he's only on 20 hours a week, um, Miss Otto. Um, one thing I wanted to bring up in regards to the zoning compliance, and I forgot to mention it. I noticed that we're attaching documents on uh, something that was denied um, by the the planner, and I'm wondering why this document is in our packet. Those because were not in the packets. That is. They were. That no, is. It wasn't. It, it wasn't in your packet. It was in your mailbox for information. It, you'll know that it. You'll note that it wasn't in the rubber banded packet. Uh, well, yeah. I don't check this. So this doesn't go. This doesn't go into the no. regular pa uh, packet online. Not anymore. Okay. Uh -uh. Okay. Because I was worried because this is ZBA. I mean, this is denied, yeah. and the ZBA hasn't even looked at this yet. And you're. And yeah. I thought if you're putting it out in public, no. then there's some bias already out there. So right. we changed that. Okay. Uh, I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Um, to follow up. Um, well, let Ms. No, I, I have one more thing. Okay. The only, um, since it's board members' comments, um, sure. I thought that I would uh, let everyone know that um, the, we are having the 4th of July parade on the 4th of July um, for Kiwanis, and we are, uh, have um, announcement out there for a hover, hoverboard team if any teenagers are interested in uh, participating in the parade with their hoverboards. Um, we also are looking for volunteers to help with some of the traffic control. And um, I think, and I am looking for one person who would love to be a clown. So uh, you can contact me. Okay. Okay. Ms. Bellinger. I have a follow up on that. Why is it that we cannot have our officers? issue a citation or what is is there is there any reason not to or they cannot somebody calls at 8 p.m. and the code enforcement is uh, not available I can check that I I don't know the, the officers typically write tickets under the uniform traffic control uh, civil infractions but they may be able to write a, a civil infraction under this ordinance I'll take a look I appreciate that because 20 hours a week and whatnot it's gonna be kind of hard for them to catch violators or they hate writing dog tickets <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. Um, we have uh, board member comments. Um, we we finished call to the public, but. Um, new news. Yeah. 
Yeah. Come. Right. Come on up. We we have police on Chuck Stoyer, seven sixty six Mile Road. The the Mr. Burns's interpretation of how the laws would how how the ordinance would be enforced completely is out of line with the reason we asked for the ordinance. Mm -hmm. I, I'm with Parks and Rec. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. And, and was one of the pushers behind the dog park. Okay. I'm, not, um, I'm not saying they can't be. I'm going to look it up. But okay. We need clarification. I under, on that. understand that, but it's the first time. Because if, it, if we can't use police officers to reforce, enforce that, that there are people using the dog park 18 out of the 24 hours in the day, and the, the code infraction and the enforcement, the, the code officer only works part time, I believe, correct? Right. right. So, I mean, the only way that that's acceptable from my perspective at the dog park is that the dog park hours would be posted as being the same as the code enforcement officer. And that's not going to make a whole lot of our township people. Problem we're having is not people in the township misusing the park. It's a business that is located in Livingston County that's abusing our rules to the park. Okay. Okay, thank you for that information. We'll have this checked out. Thank um, you. Yeah. Thank you much. Okay. Um, we're, we're, we're doing... Board member comments, I guess we are. Okay, um, Ms. Chick. So uh, real quickly, because I forgot, um, I just wanted to welcome National Fiber Optics to uh, mm. Northfield Township. Mm -hmm. They will be located at 6785 Whitmore Lake Road. Uh, they recently got their uh, both their conditional use approval with conditions and their site plan approval, so. Right. Good, mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Um, Ms. Belliger. I want to thank uh, Trustee Otto for a reminder of the, of the parade, the information on that, and thank the public for information and, and call the public. Mm -hmm. Thank the board for a good meeting. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Dockett. I agree with David Gordon. I didn't think I'd say that too much, but I do. And uh, everybody should buy and use local stores. And uh, have a nice night. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, go ahead. I, as we were going through the bills and budget, um, people's express is still waiting for their check oh. from 2 19 oh. oh. So just for your information, if okay. um, Ms. Strange, if you could look into that. Basically, the okay. motion was to... Um, authorize the supervisor and manager to sign the contract pending review and approval by the township attorney. And that was on 2-28-19. Okay. So, okay. Well, I think it was basically yeah. the same contract we've had for the last three last years, time. so I'm yeah. not expecting it to be a huge review, but yeah. anyway, as we were going through the budgets and I meant to bring that up, but I finally yeah. remembered to do that. Okay. If and I could respond, uh, Mr. Burns says that it has been rewritten the contract, and so we'll look into. Okay. 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 I don't know where it's at. If we've administratively received it. Okay. If we have, I'll see that it gets done. All right. And then, um, yeah. I mean, it has been our the wettest spring in 60 years, and I think our plant is doing a mighty fine job. Yes, we okay. Thank you. Um, Ms. Manley, um, and then we'll let you. Two things to address Mr. Gordon. I do want to talk to Dan a little bit more, Dan Willis at the sewer plant about this third basin and if that's a possible solution to maybe some of this. I mean, but using that third retention basin. Have you ever brought that to the plant? No. You need to call right. And that's why I want to talk to him. And then I'll also investigate the cost of a survey yep, and you'll see what good. that might cost. I think it's a good idea. Um, I think that was it. All right, okay, great. Thank, thank you. you. Mr. Ains has something. Yes, um, regarding the public not knowing that the retention tank has been a subject of discussion, it's been just in the 23 months or so I've been here, it's probably been on once a month. Mm -hmm. 
It's been on the website. It's been in the minutes. It's been in the recordings here. It's been in the direct mailings that have been part of the tax statements, etc. So, you, you know, I would find it difficult that anybody who pays any attention at all to the township would not be aware that this is an issue. But, uh, you know, your budget hearings are to have people make comments on what's in the budget, which this is a budget item. Mm -hmm. And you see the attendance tonight on the budget. And uh, so I'm not arguing over priorities. I'm arguing over the fact that I think the board has made every effort to notify the public on this issue. Mm -hmm. It's been in it's been in the newsletter too, and it'll be in again. But, um, it's never been loaded on by the public. Yeah. So anyway, well, thank you all for coming tonight, and we are out before ten. Anyway, motion we'll to, to adjourn. adjourn. <laughs> Support. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Stay here.